We're not seeing anything. Where is the where is the picture at? Hey, we're here. Can you see us? I hope you can see us. Okay. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to After Prison Show. Joe got his prison buddies back. Connor, what's happening? What's up, man? Glad I could have you over here, Dave, as well. You know, <laughs> I got I got to say this first and foremost, man. People are a really big fan of you two, and, and we were watching the comments. <laughs> We were watching the comments before the stream went live, and it was a lot of, there was a lot of love in there for you two guys, man. So I want you to know that APS Army really, really does rock with you guys, man. APS Army. So, anyways, hey, thanks to everybody for joining us on this early live stream. Uh, we had to do this early because Connor does got to go to work in a little while. He is going to join us. We're going to talk about some prison stuff, and uh, you know, I really, I want to ask you one question real quick, Connor. Are you tired of talking about prison? Well, Joe, before I came home, one of my good friends was like, if I see you on the street, you have to promise we gotta me move this. that we won't talk about prison. Black piece. Oh, the black piece needs to go down. Go. All right, we got the black piece. Okay, so what are you saying? You said before yeah, you came home. Yeah, he said, I got to promise him that if I see him on the street that I won't talk to him about prison. We got to talk about street stuff. Right, because when you come home from prison, who the hell really wants to talk about prison? Right? So then I run into you, and then now that's all we do is talk <laughs> about prison, man. Tell some crazy prison stories, you know. Hey, remember that one time we were on the soccer field? I mean, it, it is crazy. And that is something that guys do talk about while locked up is the fact that when you come home from prison, you know, nobody wants to talk about that shit. Well, you know what's crazy is that when you're in prison, all you do is tell stories about the street. And now that you're home, all you do is tell <laughs> stories about prison. It, it is kind of, it's kind of crazy. Dave, do you ever do you ever deal with that type of stuff, like not wanting to talk about being locked up? Uh, every day. Every day, someone always someone always asks when they find out that you just came home. They're like, "Oh my god!" So, the stuff I seen on Oz does that really happen? Now, let me ask you this: with you even mentioning that, what is the most common? And this is for both of you. Uh, hey, Collins Davies, what's up, Dave and Connor? Nice to see you back. What's happening, Joe? Hey, thanks for mentioning me as well. Thank you. Um, but let me ask you this to both of you: what is the most common question that people ask you once they find <laughs> out that you've been to prison? Uh, did you, did, were there a lot of drugs in prison? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dave, what about you? They ask, uh, did you ever, did anybody ever, did you get raped? Did yeah. anybody ever get raped? Yeah, you definitely get a lot of questions about rape. <laughs> Me personally, the number one question I get asked the most is, did you ever drop the soap? And you know, it used to, I, I remember I was in an Uber not too long ago, and, it, and the guy found out, I told him that I'd been to prison, and that was the number one. That was the number one question he asked me. He was like, did you ever drop the soap and get raped? And I'm like, Jesus Christ. Like, what the hell kind of question? How do you just come out and just ask somebody? It's kind of personal. I mean, maybe even if I did, I wouldn't want to tell my Uber driver about it. <laughs> this is not a conversation for the backseat of an Uber right here. But um, The last Uber I was in was a Portsmouth Sheriff's deputy. Really? How did, how did that work out for you, Dave? I told him. I was like, yeah, I've never been to prison or uh, Portsmouth jail, but I've been to all the other ones. You know, and it's crazy because I can relate to that as well. I've been to pretty much every jail around this area in Virginia where we are. But, Connor, again, you're not even from Virginia. You're from Maryland. So you really... I've been to some jails in Maryland. Baltimore City Jail. That one's really dirty. You don't want to go there. Right. You don't... Uh, depending on when, what time of the day you get there... They might not even have any blankets or sheets for you. So you're just gonna be <laughs> you're gonna be sleeping on a mat with no sheets, no blankets, no nothing. Yeah, you got to get lucky. You got to get lucky, and, and that that's something that's similar to like prison too. Like sometimes when you get to prison, you might not get a pillow. It might take you a while to get a pillow. So let's talk about prison stuff because again, that's what this stream is gonna be about. Again, we've got Joe's buddies here, Connor and Dave. To all of you, thank you again for joining us. On this early stream, we're going to hook this thing up. We're going to talk straight prison stuff for all of you out there. Uh, Cockold, y'all want to join me for my... Bu Bukaki? Bu is that what that is that how you pronounce that? Bukaki. I thought it was butt cake. Yeah, I always <laughs> thought it was butt cake as well myself. Uh, Cody's doing some technical support right here, trying to get the camera. Uh, Joe may have spit all over the camera last night. Long story, you don't want to know. But Bukaki, um, you know, I've always... Is that a thing for you? Are you into that type of stuff? I don't know what bukkake is. I, what exactly is bukkake? Can anybody please tell me? I think it. Dave, do you know? From what I from, from what, what from, from what, what I may I, know. From what I think it is, it's like uh, 
It's just a bunch of guys jerking each other off or some shit. Nah, I'm not sure that's what it is at <laughs> I all. I don't think that's Bukaki, man. I don't think that's what it is at all. But anyways, look. So, look, let's talk about uh, when you first get to prison, right? Like, what are some of your first memories of getting to prison? Connor, why don't you go first? Well, dude, I mean, uh, Powhatan receiving. Which is hell on earth. Oh, my God. When you Mr. Hawaii, nice shirt, Joe. Nope, not today. Shout out to that. Mr. Hawaii, thanks for being with us early, man. Um, You know, Powhatan looks like Shawshank Redemption when you walk in there. Powhatan, <laughs> Powhatan looks like freaking prison break. It's pretty much the same thing. You've Especially got the tiers. The third tier. Yeah. It's like 60 feet high, and it's just bars miles of bars and there's like it's noisy and uh there's a lot going on and right. <laughs> uh you're just trying to get to your cell and get secure before you start finding out what's going on oscar shout out to you greetings from norway what do you think about norwegian prison systems if they don't have the meaning uh if you don't have a meaning google halden prison norway and tell the stream your and tell the stream your meaning so look, uh, these prisons overseas in like Sweden and these other countries, they've got some really sweet situations where these guys are living like they're basically just on the streets. Uh, what do you think about that type of stuff? If they had that in the United States, do you think that would be like a good thing where it was just as sweet being locked up as it is in the free world? Uh, Perch Perkins, send nudes to my friend Snapchat at Perkin the at Park kind of boat, some something like that. Park in the boat. Park in the boat. Well, send nudes. <laughs> you know, I've seen like some of those prisons in Germany where like they bring you your meals on like the silver platters. Oh my God, you're eating off like, of a cover, silver platter? Like, yeah, they got like. So it's almost like room service type yeah, shit? Yeah, like a room service. Exactly like a hotel room service. Peach's butt buddy, what did Connor and Dave get locked up for? Uh, that's a great question. Uh, Connor, go ahead, man. Tell uh, your horrific story about them 20 guys you killed. All right, so it's pretty intense. <laughs> <laughs> No, I got pulled over on uh, Interstate 81, and uh, they found some stuff in the car that I shouldn't have had. What exactly did they find in the car? Mass One, shout out to you. Thanks, Joe. APS for life. Shout out to you, Mass One. That tattoo looked really dope. Thanks for that message on Twitter, brother. I think uh, I think they might have found some drugs in the car. You think they might have found some drugs? They definitely found drugs in the car. Oh, okay, probably. well, they definitely did, because I, well, you know, I got locked up for a long time for it. So, uh... They found some drugs in the car, and then they told me right then, because it was a bunch of undercover police, a dog unit, and a couple marked cars, and apparently they had already had a CI wear a camera and a wire on me. So you were they, you were already being under investigation. Cockold, yeah. uh, okay, so Joe, get yourself on the floor, dude. We can all stand around. Uh, you jerking off onto your face. Is that what that's all about, though? Yeah, it's a bunch of guys jerking off. And I'm now I know that there's someone in the middle catching Catching the load. all of the loads. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that's Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> we now know what Bukaki is. That sounds like a motorcycle. I got that Bukaki outside. <laughs> Bukaki, shout out to you. Bukaki, I got that Bukaki. Ring, 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 ring. So you got locked up for drugs. Dave, what did you get locked up for? Uh... Touching shit that didn't belong to me. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Back up. We gotta pump the brakes on that one. Oh Touching shit that doesn't belong to you, Dave. Get out of the comments because you're gonna get stuck. <laughs> Dave, that could be taken completely the wrong way here. Look, I was, I when was, you get locked up, let's just let's pump the brakes real quick. If you get locked up and somebody asks you what you're locked up for, and you say for touching stuff that doesn't belong to me, uh, how do you think that's gonna go over? It's not going to go very well. Callum Davies, uh, five guys and sperm on one girl's face. Now I have no money. Still got a $90 phone bill. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Callum Davies. Thank you for letting us know that's what the Bukaki thing is all about. I'm sorry about the phone bill thing. That's fucking insanity. Yeah, uh, I was uh, robbing repo lots. You were, you were stealing shit that didn't belong to you. Yeah, I was taking cars apart. And stealing uh, car parts. Lucky 13, the whole crew here today only misses <laughs> peaches. <laughs> had, a, had a sweet operation. Hey, look, we're going to do a live stream where we're actually, we're going to have, I don't know if we should have Joe's Facebook open or not on the live stream. Last time we had anything of Joe's open on the live stream, God, that sounds horrible. Uh, it didn't work out too well where I leaked my phone number. But we should just do a live stream where we're in search of peaches. We well, don't quit. I until mean, you've got all these followers. If we just like. If we put out the freaking field. Yeah. The whole name, 
in the description. We haven't put the whole name. There, there's Peaches right there. We haven't put the whole name out there. You know Peaches' whole name. It's Michael, but we're not going to say the last name just yet. But what I'm saying is... if we had all of you... If we had the entire APS Army find. trying to find this guy... You already know what Peaches looks like to a certain degree based on the painting that Joe did last night. <laughs> uh, that is the Black Barney Fife right there. That's pretty close and pretty... What do you think of that, Connor? That was your bunkie, so... Do we kind of got peaches going Who's on? Who's that supposed to be on the left? That's not me on the left, is that, it? That's me. Oh, all right, good. Suck my titties. <laughs> that's a, oh, my God. But, yeah, that's me right there. That's like my first interaction <laughs> with peaches right there. He's got the peach in his hand. You Do know. you like peaches? <laughs> no. I looks, don't like peaches. It looks like peaches might have been stuffing peaches. And uh... <laughs> Look at the little Junie cakes on Joe back there. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> All right, but anyway, so look, we 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 know what you guys were locked up oh for: drugs, God. for theft charges, things of that nature. So, Connor, back to talking about getting to Powhatan. This was a hell on earth type of prison to be at. Uh, again, you walk into this place, and like, what are your first thoughts when you get in here? Well, you know, I got lucky, man, because like my exact my actual experience there was, you know, at first I was nervous, right? Of course, because it, it looks crazy. But uh, I knew somebody that was on the first tier. And they called my name out. Did they say, hey, yo, fresh meat! Fresh meat! Hey, fish, come here! <laughs> well, there was people saying that, but this guy didn't say that. But there were people actually saying that? Yeah, too? this guy called me over, and he was smoking a joint. And he was like, uh, he said, hey, man, he said, you just got here? He said, you want to hit this? <laughs> as soon as you got off the bus. And this is right in the middle of the, like, so I'm looking around for the cops. And I was just like, all right. So I like got my bag over my shoulder, and I hit it real quick. And then he uh, was like, did you get commissary yet? I was like, no. And he went ahead and threw me some food to take upstairs, too. That's all right. Mr. White asked. Uh, did you end up having to fuck that guy? <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You can't answer that yet. Hey, uh, but Mr. White asked, what do you guys think of the paintings, though? I told you when I walked in, yeah. man, that that shit looks awesome. And by the way, real quick, uh, let me get the peaches real quick. I'm going to be in the middle. Uh, I'm going to be the one guy in the middle spraying all of you guys. Mmm. Getting sprayed by all of you guys. What the fuck? It's too early for this shit. We're doing an early stream. This thing's getting out of control real quick. Fucking like X-rated at <laughs> 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Hey, we we bu- 3 o'clock. We bukkake the whole fucking live stream already. Uh, but look, uh, Anthony, shout out to you. I support you on Patreon. Love the vids. Keep your chin high. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to you, Anthony. Thank you very much, brother. But look. Uh, real quick, I do want to say this. We did put the uh, one of the paintings on eBay. Uh, did we do that, Cody? Yeah. So Cody's going to link where you can go bid on the painting. Everybody wanted to see the paintings auctioned <laughs> off. That's what we're going to start with. Um, but anyways, you'll see that in the comments. Cody's, uh, Cody is about to spam the shit out of the comments with where you can find the paintings at. Um, but anyways, like Dave said, so you, when you got to prison, Connor, like you walk in, you see a guy that you know. There's all these other guys who are yelling fresh meat, fish, you know, all of these crazy things. But you see your buddy right there. He's smoking a joint. He asks you if you want to hit it. You hit it. Dave says, <laughs> what did you say, Dave? So did you have to fuck this guy? <laughs> No, I didn't did you have to? I, I mean, I didn't have to. But <laughs> we just, you know, it was, it was, easier, it was the easier way mode of payment. Oh my goodness, uh, bukkake malakari or something like that. Bukkake is the Japanese word for soup and was originally a punishment for adulterous women. They would have the whole villages <laughs> men spooge in their faces. My God, is that is that serious? That's a How is that like gonna? Well, I guess it makes sense for the adulterous woman, you know. You like other men? You like other men, huh? Take Bukaka! <laughs> Bukaka! Pull over, Bukaka! <laughs> hey, that should be the next, gif, uh, the next gif right there. Callum Davies, can Dave tell us about his date, please? Dave, your date. Tell us about your date. What date? <laughs> did you Dave, tell people that I... Dave did have a date. Yes, he did. He went on a little date. You know, tell him what, uh, tell him what happened, man. Oh, my God. Hold on. I just remembered this. <laughs> I don't know where you know about this from. I don't know if I divulged any of this information in a previous oh stream. God. But Dave left the other day and actually did go on a date. Connor, you have no idea about this story. Dave. Oh, my God. Tell not only. Dude, she might be watching this shit. But, Dave, you just have to tell the story because Dave is actually winning, folks. With a broken leg, broke wing over here is actually winning. Dave, please tell the story about. Um, it was my. It was my ex-girlfriend. And she's been she's trying to get me back. And <laughs> we're missing so, the whole point here. So she's gone 
to some hellified extremes to try and win me back. Now, what exactly did she do to try to win you back, Dave? Because when she showed up over here the other day, she was not alone. No, she wasn't alone. She has a, a new girlfriend. She has a girlfriend. Uh, Peach's nip slip. Has any of you guys eaten beans that went bad in 2015? Because I just did. What would happen to you if you were watching, caught watching anime cartoons or the Food Network in prison? A lot of people watch the food shows. Yeah, a lot yeah. of people do because they're trying to get tech, tips and techniques for how to... Pump up those ramen noodles, you know? Yeah, right. I can't stand watching food <laughs> because it, it reminds me of all the things I can't eat. It, it does suck. You'll see people whipping up like the most crazy concoctions, and you're just getting hungry watching this. Peaches Junie, shout out to you. But um, you can watch the Cartoon Network to a certain degree as long as you're not watching like Disney Channel, um, Dance Moms, things of that nature. You know, those kind of shows are off limits in prison. If you're watching Family Guy, if you're watching... Anything along those lines, you're gonna be okay. But anyways, real quick, oh my God. Peaches Michael Jackson. Dave went to jail for touching my pee pee. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Dave's okay with that, I guess. But Dave, we got to get back to your date because you did go on a date the other day, and I didn't go on a date. They had a hotel room, and I went over there and hung out. End up getting, you know, getting some pussy, getting getting laid or whatever. But in the middle of it. So you were getting laid. And she was on top, of course. I'm ready to go on a I date right now just hearing the story. And um, her friend was in the shower. She decided while her friend was in the shower, she was going to, you know, try and rock my world. So I let her. And while she was on top of me, her friend came out of the shower, butt-ass naked. And Tina was... Or she was like... <laughs> <laughs> Troy, hey Joe, love watching the videos oh, every day. Something good to look forward to after school. Support from Maine. Shout out to Maine. That's where I was born at. Troy, thank you very much. So you're you're in the midst of some sort of my, you know sexual my thing ex with your girl. Pretty much like... Let's just get to the point. Dave had a threesome, y'all. Dave had a threesome. Dang. I mean, I, it won't even a full threesome. It was a good enough. What you told me happened in there was the shit. Connor, hey, Joe, I'm getting ready for my first tattoo on Monday. Do you have any first-timer tips or anything I should expect going into it? Well, Connor, you know, this seems like this could be a really good question for you considering you are tattooing your ass off right now. Um, first-timer tips, man, just uh, try to hold still for the guy, man. I mean, it's your... It's going to be permanent on you. So you ought to want to stay still so the dude doesn't mess your work up. <laughs> expect, it to be, expect it to be really painful. That way when it's not too bad, it doesn't bother you. Uh, but it's not that bad, man. You'll get through it. Just expect the worst and it won't be that bad at all on you, man. It's really not that painful either. Yeah. It's all what you make of it. So it's, it's really, you'll be okay. Just sit still. Uh, don't be trying to jerk your arm or anything like that. No homo. How many dollars for you guys to make out with each other? Uh, I'm okay with this as long Make as... Make an the, offer. If the, if, <laughs> no, I mean, like, if the price is right, the flight's tonight. That's the saying that, you know, that we live by here. But no homo, I guess. Um, it's trending on eBay. It's trending on eBay? The painting is trending on eBay. Holy shit. We can't nah, even, that's you guys, man. We can't even make the trending page on YouTube, but shout out to the painting that we did trending on eBay. Shout out to the entire APS Army for helping to make that happen. But Dave, look, real quick, let's just let's just cut to the... Connor, you got to hear this shit. It's crazy. Dave said he was having sex with his girlfriend. The other girl came into the room, started tickling his balls. That's so lucky, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Life just what is going on with this situation? Like, It was kind of uncomfortable at first, right? Because, how in the hell could because, this be uncomfortable? Yo, because you don't know my ex, right? So I'm thinking she's about to be like, oh, you like this? <laughs> Is oh, this what you wanted? Oh, is this okay with you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But then she looked at me and was like, Green light. So do you like this? And I was like, Am I supposed yeah. to like this? Um, is this a trick question? <laughs> yeah. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Yeah. <laughs> Woo, that was a little... It was all right. It was all right. It, was all right. it had to be better than all right. If it happened Shit. to me, you know, I like a... For real, that's only happened to me one other time, and that was in high school. Dave, you're winning. With a broken leg, Dave is doing exceptionally well. Yeah, I mean, that's twice as good as I'm doing right now. <laughs> it's 100% better than how I'm doing right now. So, you know, shout out to you, Dave. You know, that brings us to another really good point here. Let's talk about dating after prison. We're going to go all over the place with this. We're going to keep this straight prison topics. But, again, don't expect any kind of rhyme or reason to this. We will keep this entertaining. But... 
Connor, let's talk about you first because you're just coming home from prison. You've only been home now for about three months. What's it been like for you uh, to come home and try to get back into the dating scene? Well, like, I don't want to do what Dave just did. And he, like, kind of, like, slipped up back there a second ago with his... Uh, <laughs> oh, it said with, the girl's name? Yeah, so... Uh, we can't erase this. And, and now, believe me, they're going to know... They're going to know what her name I is. I told you guys when I came over what my situation is right now. What is your situation? So, <laughs> dirty pooty juice. What was the the pooty juice? Was the pooty juice dirty? I don't know what that means. It was. Y'all are trying to get were, me in trouble. It They're was. trying to get Dave uh, hemmed up. Right I'll now. answer the questions that Dave can't answer because Joe don't care. It was dirty. The pooty juice was dirty. But anyways, go ahead. Uh, so Dave's like, oh my God, I hope she's not watching right now. But go ahead, Connor. Talk about like what it's God. been like for you trying to get back into this dating. Well, I'm never gonna get both of them all the way because of this show right here. Well, thank APS Army for helping Dave never have another threesome. Uh, Oscar, it's me again. Just wondering if you have ever had Norwegian candy. If not, I'm gonna send you some from Norway. Also wondering what's the most horrifying thing you remember from prison. Everyone needs to answer. Uh, again, saying hello from Norway. Oscar, shout out to you. Let's go to that question real quick so All we don't right. forget it. Horrifying thing that you Horrifying. remember from? Well, dude, one time, this is it. This wasn't prison, it was jail. Okay. But uh, Baltimore City Jail, man, we get like one or two hours of rec, and uh, the rest of the time you're locked down. So when everyone's out, it's 100 people out on either side. So 200 people are out, and there's like one or two cops. Right. So this guy, I guess, had gotten in some kind of beef. I don't know whether it was over money or he had done something on the street to somebody. I'm not sure. He was on the other side of the glass. But he ran to the booth and was beating on the plexiglass. And, like, in Baltimore City Jail, they have, like, real knives. They don't have shanks. Like, they'll have, like, switchblades and everything. Right. And the dude, like, cut his throat from behind him and, like... <clears throat> Love was all over. The, it looked like a horror movie, man. You like? I'd never seen some shit like that. I mean, that's that shit. Was horrifying. That, uh, Wizness, uh, Joe. I mean it. You are the best in YouTube, bro. Shout out to you, Wizness. Really that means was a lot. Just jail. You know what I mean? So you got all these guys out on the rec yard. Two hundred guys. Here comes this one guy running, trying to bang on the glass, trying to get out of there. Obviously, he had some kind of beef. Somebody just comes up right there in front of the guard booth and fucking slits his throat. Yo, Dave. What about you, man? What's some pretty horrifying shit you remember? Jail or prison? Uh, kiss now. Okay, kiss. He, he, now, here is your money, Dave and Cody. Uh, kissing time. Dave, Dave, and, Cody. Dave and Cody. Dave and Cody. Hey, look. I said make an offer. <laughs> that wasn't a good enough offer. You need to put a couple more zeros see, in that. We need a, bit, look we at need the a guy. better offer. Look at the guy. The guy's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you see how uh, he put 420 up there, too, right? <laughs> Shout yeah. out to the 420, man. All right, so my, mine also was kind of violent. I knew this guy, we called him uh, Rocky because he looked like Sylvester Stallone, right? And it was in Virginia Beach Jail. And he was like like this big diesel guy, but he, he was like real soft, calm, talked to everybody, all cool, he's cool with everybody. And he did tattoos too, right? And then there was this other guy we called Country who was weird, just weird as fuck. And I guess him and Rocky were kind of cool, and then Rocky started talking to other people, and Country kind of acted like they were dating or something, and like what? came in. Yo, it was so weird. One day we were like chilling, and Rocky was doing a tattoo, and Country came in and was like, "You don't even chill with me no more," and all types of weird fucking shit, right? And Rocky just got up and punched him in the face, right? And you you ever, you ever seen like in UFC when the dude hits him with the blow, boom, and he. And you see him going down, but the guy still connects with, like, three more on the way down. Yeah. Right? He did that. And when dude got up, he had uppercutted him and punched his teeth through his lip, right? And he wouldn't pull it. It just looked so fucking crazy. Like, the shit was fucked up, man. The teeth was through the lip. Like, completely through the lip. And it was just... I almost passed out. I was looking at it like, what the uh, you know, I saw this. I saw this fight at the jail one time. I was young. I was young when this happened. It was, it was, it was crazy. But it was it was a similar story. I mean, a similar situation to what Dave was saying. But I seen this guy get beat up so damn bad in the jail. 
I mean, and I don't even know how he wasn't unconscious from this. There was blood all over the damn place. But the one thing that I will never forget from this fight was the fact that this guy got, like, multiple teeth knocked out during this fight. And after it was over and the guards came in there and they were breaking everybody up, trying to take everybody to the hole who was involved in this fight, the guy who had gotten beat up, he was being taken out of the fucking cell block and he was like, wait, wait, I gotta get my teeth. <laughs> I gotta get my teeth. And, like, no bullshit, there were teeth on the ground that he was picking up Oh my god! I'm like, holy shit! Like, how are they gonna put those back in your mouth? Can you, if your teeth get knocked out, can they fix that? Like, yo, I, I remember there, there was this there was this little there was this little guy in a pod I was in. This was the first time I went to prison. It was like 2000, and there was a little guy in the pod with us, and he used to get picked on all the time. And I remember eating breakfast at the table with him one morning, and he was like, uh, the Andrew. Uh, yes, he should. The, the Andre Roy. Joe, you should do a custom piece on Dave's cast. Hope all is well, brother. Keep up the great work. Much love from Phoenix, Arizona. Shout out to you. We may do that. Connor's not got a lot of time with us, so I really need to get Connor in this more. But, um, yeah, we may end up doing a custom piece on Dave's cast. That might be kind of dope. What could we put up there? A big old flying penis with some wings on it? Dave, would you rock that? I mean, nope. <laughs> <laughs> we could always cover it up after it's done. Hey, you guys decide the piece that we should do on Dave's cast. That might be something that we do. Uh, X Day to remember. Shout out to you. Hey, Joe, I apologize about that Chomo joke I made yesterday. It was uncool of me to do that. Love the live streams you do. Shout out to you, man. I don't, you know... Look, I'm a, I'm a pretty easygoing guy. I hear it all the time. People, you know, they say crazy shit. But, hey, appreciate you being here. Thanks for rocking with us. Connor, hey, Dave, I don't mean to cut you off. No, but, ahead. again, you know, Connor, I do want to talk to you. We, ne we didn't get a chance to talk too much about, like, dating for you. So, since being home, let's talk okay. about what, what, what it's been like for you to meet women out here in the free world. Well, you know, I've been really busy, man. I've been trying to work and uh, just make a little money and then get back on my feet. So, uh... I told you guys when I came over that I would kind of like struck on something. Uh, and what do you mean by struck on something, Connor? So like I that can be taken in so many different ways. So I met this girl. Okay. And uh, is she girl? hot? Well, I met this woman. Oh, she's grown. She's an older woman. Oh, she's older. Okay. She's you know fifty, sixty. Nah, not quite that old. I mean, but she's a good decade older than me. Decade older than you? That's okay. 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 And uh, she's uh she's hot. She is hot. I've seen pictures of her. I'm not gonna lie. She she's very attractive. So like the other night, we're uh, we're in bed and we're talking, and uh, she's like, "What do you want out of this? You know, between us?" And I was like, "Marriage, kids, white picket fence." <laughs> and I avoided all those subjects. <laughs> and, and you said, and I said, "I'm cool with whatever." And she said that wait, she wait, wants wait, marriage, wait, wait, kids, wait, wait, wait. white picket fence. Actually, what he told us, he said, was, "Oh, what I want between." Um, a massage and some head. Oh, yeah, that's what I was <laughs> I said, I want a back massage and some head. And she said, no, really, what do you want? And, I, and she said uh, that she just wanted to keep no strings attached, just like a fuck buddy relationship. And I said that was perfect. Remember, uh, Joe, you remember talking about the fat guy in the shower who would never take them and will smell. Uh, there is a kind of funk in the room. I think that's what that said. I don't know. I missed that. I'm sorry. Shout out to you. Henry, uh, will you, when will you open mail? I opened mail last night in the stream. I do apologize for that if you missed that. I got a bunch of awesome stuff. Maybe we'll break that out later. We can go through that. But we, we did that last night. I'm going to make yesterday's stream available today. I'm going to make today's stream available today as well. I will start making these streams public. I don't know why I haven't been doing that. But this one will be, so look for that later. So... So I'm winning. I got a, I got you got, a, you got an older I got woman. a friends with benefits relationship right now on the side. So yeah. now every time I get off work, I can You can call her up, booty call right there. Yeah. Peaches Junie, APS fan for life. Shout out to you, Peaches Junie. But let me ask you this though, Connor. Like when you met this girl, what was it like trying to explain to her that you had been locked up? It was awkward because uh you know, Actually, a couple things that I had, you know, revealed to her, she was like, she literally said to me, I look at you, she said this, she said, I look at you totally differently now. Now, she, in a, that's a, that, that, that could be taken as a bad way, right? No, it was, it was definitely a bad way. But, uh, you know, I just explained to her that, like... You made mistakes. I'm a good person that's made bad choices. Right. And uh, I, just would, I, told her, I told her it would be apparent if she just talked to me. For a little while, she'd realize what the type of person I am. And so you, 
do you feel like there was a time though when you first divulged the fact that you had been locked up that this you know she was probably ready to just abandon this entire thing from the beginning well yeah well I mean she came over to get some tattoo work done and it was uh you know she's curious on how long I've been tattooing and I you know I had to tell her that you know I learned in prison I hadn't actually used street equipment so I'm trying to be honest with her and you know you get that far away look in her eye where she's like holy shit I don't know if I want this guy tattooing on me and all he's ever used is prison equipment he's been in prison I don't know if he knows what he's doing. I don't know how he learned, you know. But if she's willing to come over to get tattoo work, she obviously has to have some kind of inclination going into it that, you know, there is a possibility. I don't know. That would just be my own assumption with it. But have you met other women since being out other than this one chick that you're talking to? And has Mm -hmm. you revealing anything about yourself been like a deal breaker in that situation? Yeah. (laughs) I mean, I guess so. It happens to all of us. Hey, I've been to prison. I'm out of here. Hey, look, but it didn't break too bad because he still got the booty call. She's just like, look, I'm not trying to make a future with you. You, She's probably (laughs) thinking to herself, there's probably no future with you. So I'm just going to go ahead and just let this be what it is. You know, she might be attracted to the bad boy, though. You never know. Yeah, well, this the one girl, the one girl I got with on uh, on Tinder. She uh, shout out to Tinder and all the dating apps while we're at it. <laughs> she uh, like oh, she, I guess she like seen my picture and she was like she got in the car and she was like, oh yeah, I knew you, I knew you had been in prison as soon as I saw your tattoos. <laughs> Although you can tell my tattoos are prison tattoos. She was like, hell yeah, I can tell your tattoos are prison tattoos. Oh my god, Copper Man, shout out to you. Uh, did you get my Junie <laughs> Cakes poster? Hey, I did get that, and I'm gonna show that in a little while. That thing was freaking awesome. I opened that last night. I didn't know who sent it to me. Uh, if so, show it on the stream for me. Also, Connor and Dave, what's the grossest thing you saw Joe do in prison? If you guys say anything crazy, you're never coming over to my house again. The grossest thing. The grossest thing. Uh, don't say anything. Don't 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 divulge too much. You know. Uh, Wizness, yo Joe, what's your favorite TV show and music artist? Favorite music artist right now is Dolly Parton, and favorite TV show is Teletubbies. I don't, you know. <laughs> I'm kidding. Favorite TV show right now is NHL playoffs, and favorite music artist is probably, um, I don't know. I don't really know. I listen to too much of everything. Rise Against. I'm a big, like, punk hardcore type of guy. But uh, what's the grossest thing you ever saw me do in prison if you ever saw me do anything crazy in prison? I didn't see you do anything gross, man. I seen him. Jack Courtney, shout out to you. Much love from Ireland. Thanks for being with us. Irish. Did you ever pick your nose and eat it? All the time, I do that still. So, right. picking my nose and eating my boogers, you know. Well, see, you had always been in our building painting, like, the... Uh, <laughs> the murals. The murals. What did you think about me in these buildings painting these murals? Like, what? like this fucking guy here. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the golden key to the prison. That's what I was say. You got to... At Indian Creek, you have got to find your lane, man. <laughs> if you don't find your lane, it becomes... Your lane becomes a motherfucking <laughs> plastic chair. Uh, Peaches hey. Junies, Dave's swinging the pole. Nice work, homie. That's good, <laughs> man. Good job, Dave. <laughs> Dave well, is you definitely... Know, you know, when he showed up, you had to roll your mattress back. <laughs> Get out of my sheet, way. Put sheets over top of everything. I painted in your area one time. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you I, hated that shit. I had to put my TV away, roll my mattress up. He comes in with the scaffold or whatever. <laughs> He's up over top of your lockers, getting paint on everything. I tried not to get paid on everything. Uh, Andy V, what's up, uh, guys? Glad to see you all on the stream. Shout out to you, Andy V. Thanks for rocking with us. Hey, look at this poster that old Cooper man sent to old Joe yesterday in after prison show. Look at that. It says, Guerrero Company, 12 dozen Juni cakes, sugary sweet, can't be beat. You guys like that? That shit is sweet. That's awesome. You showed me that when I got over here. It's just cool. Hey, we're getting that frame. That's definitely going on the wall. That might go like right above my TV somewhere. Uh, I cup, spell I cup, uh, I cup, I C U P. What is that supposed to mean? I C U P. I C U P. I've seen all you guys pee, so what the hell does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, while you're in the bathroom in prison, right, and you're standing at the urinal, what is the, uh, what is the proper etiquette for standing at the urinal while at the bathroom? You know, you got, if, it, if there's enough room, you got to skip a urinal. Right? So if That's you walk standard into, in life. That's standard in life, man. It's not Bra- just prison. Bredo, 
Shout out to you if I pronounced that correctly. If I didn't, I apologize. But yeah, so so you go into the bathroom. You're standing at the urinal. What happens if a guy comes in and just stands right next to you and starts peeing? That's weird. I mean, I look at you differently from now on if you're doing <laughs> shit like that. I'm I probably not to look at you while you're I'm probably going to tell everybody about it. I'm like, yo, you know dude just came in and pissed right next to me, man. This dude's fucking weird, There's man. There's 50 toilets in here. He wants to pee next Usually to me. Usually someone goes for the wall, Jake, and then someone goes for, like, the yeah. other wall. And, like, you're compl- way on the other side it's of everything. You don't have that much privacy in prison, so, like, you try to make as much as you can. What was it like trying to go to the bathroom when you first get to prison and you realize... No, look, neither one of y'all... Hold up, I'm sorry, Joe. (laughs) Neither one of y'all were there when I got there to Indian Creek, right? When I first got to Indian Creek, there was no dividers on the shitters. (laughs) So you were sitting there uh, pretty much right next to the next guy. Thigh to thigh. Like, a motherfucker might (laughs) lean over to wipe his ass and be like, oh shit, my bad, dog. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? This shit was was terrible. It was like this. Yeah, yes. we were all sitting on the toilet. So this is pretty much like how the bathroom scene would be in prison. I mean, we're all just st- sitting right next to each other. And to be honest can with I, you, can I get that short? yeah, to be you honest, are you reading that? Yeah, <laughs> to be honest with you, this is how it would go. <laughs> you know, you would be talking to the guy right beside you while using the oh bathroom. Oh my god! You know, when I first got to prison, this was something that was totally in- uncomfortable for me. I had like I was not good with this at all. I was how long like, did it take for you to finally take your first shit? I mean, I. I I shit the first day I was there, but I'm telling you when Not I Not fir- me. How long did it take you? About a week and a half, two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my I god. I sat down and tried this shit, but I just couldn't do it. Okay, uh remember, it's a kink where people are attracted to musk that was that what I was getting that at. That was what I was getting like, at. Like horrible smell musk. Uh what's the oddest the oldest thing you have eaten? Hey, can you make some prison pasta? We are going to be doing that. Also, as soon as I can, I will send some stuff. Joe, you need what? An uh, Afro wig? An Afro wig? I do got an Afro wig. Uh, shout out to the yeah. freaking Bob Ross wig that I got for the very first paint night video that we did. It wasn't a Bob Ross wig. What is up with this Adolf Nippler? I'm calling, I, you got to <laughs> pronounce it different. I'm just Adolf Nippler. Oh, is that what it is? Eight no. Adolf Nippler. Shout no. out to that. <laughs> no, it's definitely so, Adolf. We all probably ate expired shit in prison because you know but prisons. How prisons many times get did you deals. get the sausage off of ki- the sausage? <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, Dave! Where many, are you going with the sausage? How many times did you get the sausage off a of commissary and you go to cut it and it's just like mush? Oh yeah, or it would be green well, and it would have mold on it. Yo, I remember when we were at the, the road camp. The donuts would always I, have mold on them. I used to at least once a month order fucking like, like fifteen of the icy whites. Right. Yo, I remember one year I got them, or one year, one month I got and them. And we're talking about Juni cakes right here, little honey bun. Well, not Juni cakes, but actual honey <laughs> buns. All molded on the bottom, and I didn't know the first one was because I would just like pop the jank, put it in the microwave for twenty seconds. So you were eating molded freaking food. I, the first, yo, I swear to God, did you ever drink freaking house wine and it had chunks of the honey bun in it yeah. and you ate one of the pieces of the honey bun? Yeah. That's what it tasted like. Hey, Ralph, uh, are these guys the idiots that bring you into the bar every night? You know, they're not. It's Joe's, <laughs> the, Joe's the idiot that brings these guys into the bar every night. <laughs> Thanks for being honest, Joe. I mean, yeah. I just got to be honest. Look, these guys had nothing to do with Joe's drinking. Joe's drinking had everything to do with Joe's drinking. And when they would come over after we get done or whatever, it's time to go eat. And I would be like, hey, you guys want some dinner? We'll go eat. Dinner may just be drinks. You know, <laughs> lunch may be a liquid lunch. Uh, so, yeah, they got, they got nothing to do with that. These guys are both trying to do the best that they can after being locked up. I've got a lot of respect for what both of you are doing. You've only been home for three months now. You're working two jobs plus tattooing. Yeah. How do you feel about your chances out here, though? Great, man. I mean, everything's... I mean, dude. The world dude. is uh, full of opportunities, man. Dude. So, uh... What, what do you feel like would be one thing that would be a major setback in your life that could cause you to, you know... What's something that worries you about being out here? I just can't, uh... You know, I think I think women are a trick up, right? Because if you start messing with a woman that's not doing the right thing, like say oh she's getting God. high or she's an alcoholic, and you start messing with her, then right. like all of a sudden you get caught up with this woman that's like gonna bring you down, or just a crazy bitch, right? Like one that's gonna like Lock call the cops up, yeah. on you or like try to fight you or like, and then next thing you know, like 
you're getting some crazy like yeah. domestic charges. Yeah, you Bella, uh, you never slid into my DMs. I have no idea who you are. You need to hit up my hit me on hit me in the DMs. How do you say that? Hit me in the DMs. Yeah, it's well, a rap song. It's right? a rap song. I don't remember what it is. Bella said nudes. That's you know I'll see those first before I see anything else. As long as you're 18. If you're not, don't message me. But um, yeah. So. You know, that is, a, that is a good, valid point that you bring up. I can think of women in my past that I... And I don't want to blame, like, all women. You know, there's, <laughs> I guess there are good women out there. Yeah. I guess there are. I haven't really met them. Uh, Dave, have you met any really good women? Yeah, they're the ones that go. Oh, you've been to prison? <laughs> <laughs> they're the ones that go. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, damn, she must have been a good girl. She must have <laughs> been a good girl. It's kind of crazy, but... Oh, you got a job and a car? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, you know. For me personally, I think drink. the drinking was a big thing that would have been a major... <laughs> fat Dong, what the... what? I wish I had one of those. Joe, love the show. Just snorted a fat line so I can enjoy the show. Uh, must, must love from Ka Kabasistan? Kekistan? Hey, Kekistan? I can't condone that, though, man, you know. But it's crazy. But, um... There's so much out here that could just... you got to be careful with every single thing that you do. And you always have to be mindful that one little thing, it doesn't matter what it is, could be that thing that just triggers you, gotta be, you to go you down you got to be careful path. what car you get into. Absolutely. If you're getting a ride from somebody, Aries, shout out to you. Wish you the best. Uh, greetings from Germany. Shout out to you, Aries. Thank you for being here. I was riding. was got a ride from someone the other day to go look at the car I bought. And uh, we're riding up there. And him and his girl are fighting. They're arguing. Next thing you know, he starts driving crazy. Like, insane. Slamming the brakes, whipping it. And he don't, have a, he don't even have a license. Oh, my God. What the hell are you doing? He, in this got, he got out of prison two years ago. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so then, he find, then I find out, she's like, you better start driving more carefully. You know that we got, we know we got weed in the car. Oh, my God. So then I'm like, let me out. Let me out, man. You're gonna drive like this, and you, you didn't even tell me. He didn't even tell me that he had weed on him. So you never know, man. Gentlemen, John, your lunch becomes a liquid lunch. You go to dinner for drinks. I missed the last part of that. Gentlemen, John, thank you, you very much. Must be English. You must be English. Ah, my brother's Scottish, so it might be true. Uh, Ralph, uh, sorry for making a quick call. Uh, these guys seem nice indeed. Have you tried smoking weed, getting a dog? It really helped me with the loneliness and post-event depression and stress. I can't smoke weed. None of us can smoke weed. We're all probation. on probation. Um, as far as getting an animal... That's a good, you, don't have, you don't like animals? No, well, I was supposed to go get an animal today. I was thinking about going and getting another cat. I was gonna, somebody said yesterday that I was going to rescue an animal. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I want to go to the animal adoption agency, the SPCA, and possibly get an, uh, get a pet. Uh, Bella, only kidding. The only thing you're getting in your DMs is memes. Well, shout out to you for the memes. Thank you very much. Oh, um, so we got a couple dogs at our house, and it's definitely nice having having, having pets. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I mean, like Especially for example, like last night. Last night I was so freaking lonely and bored. It was Cinco de Mayo. And I was just sitting here. I'm watching Ancient Aliens. Connor tells me, you know, he hates Ancient Aliens. I like that show. Somebody asked me earlier what my favorite TV show is. Ancient Aliens. I like that show. Them aliens are real, okay? I don't care what you say. They <laughs> the built ancient ones? The ancient ones are for real. They built Stonehenge. That's all the Stonehenge. Stonehenge, whatever it's called. Peaches, Junies, loving the live stream. Guys, hit me up whenever you're in Colorado. Yeah, I got some friends that just moved out to Colorado. Did it's you know? A spot now. Did you, you know a guy named Seth? Do you remember a guy named Seth? Ball headed white guy. He's out in Colorado now. He was in prison with us. And the crazy thing about this guy is a great guy. He worked out all the time. A little bit of an older guy. He wore glasses. I feel like I might remember. But the crazy fucking thing about this is I will never forget the day that this guy got released from prison. I was sitting there talking to him right before he went home. And I said, Seth, you know, how do you feel about your chances going back out here into the free world? Do you think you're going to make it? And no bullshit, this guy turned to me and he said, Joe, he said, I literally feel like I already got one foot back in this place. And when he told me that, I just thought to myself, man, when you think like that, you're ah, definitely, you you're not going to make like it. That. You can't think like that. The crazy damn thing about it is he's doing good out there. I see him on Facebook all the time. You know, he's doing really good. So shout out to Seth if he's checking out this stream. Uh, awesome guy. Uh, chafed Shaft. I have a Chafed Shaft. Uh, shout out to XNXX, my favorite uh, porn websites. Did you guys jerk it dry in prison or did you use lotion uh, when you went on a date? Any of you guys want to answer that? 
I mean, I definitely jerked off in prison. I definitely jerked off in prison. I, uh, I didn't do dry jerking. I mean, that's not that's not sh- that's not safe. That's why you have a chaff shaft. So, you know I, mean? I, I do dry I do dry. I do dry jack. I, you you got to dry you, jack. I don't like the lotion. It just feels slimy and all that shit. I don't like that. Xhamster.com. I hate that website. Um, Joe, do you support you the uh, the Kakistani oppression? I uh, love the show. Cheeky, cheeky scrub. You cheeky scrub. I, I don't know. I don't know anything about that Kakistani uh, oppression thing. I'm I don't sorry. Know anything about it? Right? I haven't heard about it. I, I try to stay out of the political st- stuff. You know. And I really don't get a chance to watch the news too much. The only news that I get comes from YouTube. It's sad, is it's sad but true. Uh, Weeby Stump or or Weeby Stumper? <laughs> did you guys take thinking for a change classes in yeah. prison? If so, what did you think of it, and has it helped you now that you're out? Oh my God, we definitely took thinking Who for a change. Who is this a probation officer? Uh, whoever you are, you've either been to prison, you work in the prisons, you know, you know about that class because that's a real class. Dave, what do you think about thinking for a change? You go first. This that is shit was a pain in the neck, bro. This is all gonna be negative right here. It's a dick pain, throat chop. I hated it. Couldn't Our shit it. was a joke. It was like literally like we just like rushed through it. Like we just MD, shout out to you. Love the vids. Keep doing your thing. Really means a lot having you here today. Thanks for joining us. It depends on. I guess it depends on who your instructor is. Like our instructor turned everything into into like skits. I think I had so the we same. Acted it out. Yeah, I think I had the same guy. But look. Let's just talk about the, the, the... I didn't have to do it. Let's talk about the material that they're teaching you in Thinking for a Change. Do you honestly feel like the the material in that class is like worthwhile material that's helping you now that you're out? No, I mean, it's all common sense stuff to me. I mean, but for some people, maybe it does help them. I mean, maybe some people are like, need it. But I felt like I knew everything that they, they wanted. Remember the guys? Caleb Davies, send Joe New. Shout out Ancient Aliens. Aliens are real and get a cat. Hey, shout remember, out to that. Remember the dude's Facebook page you looked on to see if you couldn't find uh, Michael? <laughs> what the hell was that? Did your neck just pop <laughs> when you did that? No, I had to bleep out his last name. <laughs> Uh, Big Steve, shout out to you. Hey, guys, here in Idaho, if you are on probation or parole, you can't drink. Is it different there? Love the live streams. Keep it up, Joe. Hashtag APS Army for Life. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Stop. When when we said drink, (laughs) we meant like Coca-Cola. No, I'm going to be honest with this. Look, each one of us is on probation in a different city. I'm on Chesapeake. You're on Virginia Beach. Chesapeake. Oh, you're on Chesapeake as well? Yeah. Well, it was Norfolk, but it got. You definitely can't get a back. drinking charge. Like, if you get a drunk in public, yeah. you're hit. But if you have, like, say you have DUIs on your record, here in Virginia, it's all about what you're charged with. Yeah. I, I've got drug charges, so you would think that part of my thing would be no drinking, obviously, no drugs. But my probation, I've been doing well with my probation for over a year and a half. I've never had any problems with probation, never given them a reason to think that I'm doing anything wrong. I take the urinalysis when they need me to do that. So I don't have any problems. My probation just tells me, don't get in trouble. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't get in trouble. Do you have, you know, everybody's probably different with all of this. Ivan, uh, Kekistan isn't a real place, Papo. It's the internet joke. Oh, is it? We'll see where. Kek- I mean, you know, Obviously, maybe, we don't know. Maybe I mean, I'm too old for this joke. I don't know. I've never heard of it. Well, you know, there's a lot of jokes that go on the internet that go completely right over top of Joe's head. It's kind of sad. But look, Connor, what are we what are we doing here, man? Because You want to see some artwork? Yeah, let's look at some of your artwork. Let's, let's look at some of your artwork, Connor. Get your artwork. Connor's got to get ready to leave out of here real soon. He's got to go to work. It's unfortunate. But, you know, he is out here trying to do what he has to do. Uh, Bunny Hop, hey, man, what was the hardest thing to get used to in prison? Also, keep up the great work. Bunny Hop, shout out to you. We're going to answer that in a minute. So what should I do? Hold so these, look, hold these up. And just well, show me the ones that you want to show. I'll put them up in front of the camera. Connor's got his little portfolio here. He's got some work that he's drawing up, some tattoo stuff. Cool. I'm going to show you guys some of Connor's work right here because, I mean, he's got some really awesome stuff. And, um... Oh man, that's really sick. I, I might end up getting that right there myself. Rockstar. I might get that one. Uh, for some with peaches. What's up, Joe? Love the show. Fact, did, uh, love the show. Fact, did you guys know that life in Sweden, prison, uh, Swedish prison, is considered about twenty-three years? And did you guys ever witness rape in prison? I didn't. Wear, I never witnessed any rape in prison. I definitely knew of guys who had been raped in prison. Hey, look, I'm going to show you guys some of Connor's art real quick. Good Lord, Connor. Shout out Nate Creates. 
Right. Ha, he just got yeah. out of Virginia BDC Beach. City. That place sucks. Shout out to Nate Creates two weeks ago, and I see he gained 300k from when I got locked up. But love the encouragement, man. It helps me out. Instagram Trapper Trap Nate. Hey, hit me up, man. You're right down the street. We'll get up with you. Love trying to get with guys who have been locked up, who have you know who've been through stuff and are trying to get their life back on track. So that would be something really good that we could do. Look, here's some of Connor's work right here. Some stuff that he drew up. Connor, you drew these while you were in prison, didn't you? Yeah. Got a little piece right Most here. Most of them I drew when I was in segregation. I can't show this one because it's got nipples on it. Uh, Your boy Tim, how was the first time boning since being out? Awesome. I think I, sex after mine prison. Mine quick. Uh, yeah, I'm saying, like, should we be, I mean, I'll be honest, you know. I mean, you know, your stamina is not at the same level it was before you get locked up. So it's like a work in progress. And, uh, Shoot. you know, at first I was like, I was trying to, like, look up. You know, like at the corner stores, they got those like pills you take, so they're supposedly make you last longer and stuff. But I don't know if they work, and I'm scared to take them. Kick a stand supporter Joe. Do you watch Re Review Brawl? You should check out his channel. It would be a sick channel. Uh, hashtag no. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, Chucky right there? Yeah, that's Chucky, man. That's a horrible Chucky right there. You don't like my Chucky? Did I show this one already? The, the rock star chick? I don't think I did. So this is some of Connor's artwork. He drew a lot of this stuff while he was in prison. I think he threw all of this while you were locked up, didn't you? Yeah. Pretty awesome. Carl, ever since my dog killed my grandpa, I've been depressed and have been feeling better since watching your vids. He died brutally. The fridge fell on him. Oh, my God. Is that for real? <laughs> I mean, how is that? How did the, I didn't know. If the dog didn't kill him, then the fridge did. Did the dog get charged with murder? Damn. That would suck. Like, maybe the dog's leash got caught. And ah, yeah, the that's true. Over on the old man. That could have been. That's a pretty awesome little piece right there. I like that a lot. Joe Skeet Rag. Hey, Joe Skeet Rag, I've been looking for you. I'm using a sock now. Uh, did any of you guys ever come close to joining gangs in prison? Uh, name your cat Peaches in honor. No, no. I'm not doing That's that. That's a good name for a cat, though. I'm not naming my fucking cat Peaches. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to name my cat APS Army for life. Hey, APS Army for Life, come here. <laughs> so, prison games. Do you really want to talk about this? I, I mean, uh, I didn't join a prison game. You was already in a game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I definitely don't have no gang affiliations. And uh, to be honest, man, a lot of times you're a lot better just not being in a prison game. True, true that. People join them for protection, but, uh, you know, usually if you're in a gang, it brings a lot of drama with it. Like, so you're going to have to automatically have beef with a bunch of guys you would have never had beef with in the first place. You know what I mean? It's a bunch of bullshit. Look, from what I... Look, you know... Did what I ever come to a, close to joining a gang? I can't join a gang. I'm a, I'm a white guy with a Hispanic last name and I'm a Hispanic last name on a white guy. You know, so nobody's really rocking with old Guerrero. The Spanish dudes, they rocked with me a little bit. The white guys, they rocked with me, you know, a little bit. Uh, Keek a G. I'm sorry. Praise Keek. Shout out to you. I don't. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm not pronouncing that correctly. Dave, you. Uh, you were. Did you ever come close to joining a prison gang? No, I approached. Uh, I was approached by the the, the ABs. Uh, yay me. Uh, why me or Jay? I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Joe, really enjoy what you do. Keep up the great work. You're a prime example that if you want to do that, if you want bad enough and put in the work, anyone can turn their life around. Don't let stupid shit or people bring you down. Keep your head on a swivel. Much respect. Shout out to you. Thank you for being here and for the support. Do, were there any times that you ever had like gangs approach you and want you to get down with them? Who me? Well, I'm gonna ask Connor because Connor's gotta get ready to leave. Uh. Well, no, no, man. I uh, I made it known that I wasn't interested. Whenever, like, cause I mean, you know who you pretty much know who's who's in a gang, who's repping what gang, and like I I just made it known that I I was my own person and I wasn't didn't want to be affiliated with anything. You know, but that's crazy though if you think about that though. To be a new person coming to the prison, let's just say, let's just think about the fact that we had already been there for some years. At the at the one prison that we were all at together. And us being there for some years together, just think about a new person coming onto that prison and not really knowing who was with what set. But we already knew, like, okay, this guy, he's with the Crips, this guy, he's blood, this guy's AB, you know, but a new person wouldn't have 
any idea what the hell is really going on. Well, there. you know, like at major institutions like Powhatan, like a lot of times those guys, the cadres that are checking the new intakes in, they're already they're, gang they're, members. They're, they're yeah, they're gang members, and they're trying to find out which new guys are gang members. Right. And they're reporting back to population how many of what gangs coming into the prison. So that, like, population already knows, like, who you are, what your rank is. And what your charge is. Yeah, everything by the time you even hit hit the yard. Your boy Tim, shout out to you. Thank you very much, man. Uh, that is crazy, though, because you do have inmates who work in the intake area, like, helping the guards out, basically. And they're able to see your files and they'll be like, oh, this guy's certified crip, blood, you know, whatever. Or his charges or of this degree and caliber. You know, it's kind of crazy. What are you reading right there? <laughs> Somebody's like, we want to hear this A-B situation. <laughs> Dave, that's all you, man. Yeah, so I um, I was approached by, by one of the head dudes in the A-Bs, and he was... He was ready to kill you, Dave. He was a fucking clown, man. Like, he gave me this whole spiel about why they're not racist, but they're very protective of their race. Right? And just gave me this whole spiel and, like, followed me around the fucking rec yard. Like, I was out walking around the track. He's, like, following me, talking to me about it. And finally, he was, like, you know, was done with it and was, like, looking at me, waiting on my response. And I pretty much told him, you know, like, whatever. You're, that's so fucking yeah. stupid. Like, but that's did you, what I said. I was like, yeah. And, and because of that situation, you definitely had some problems with these guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, he was like yeah, don't be surprised. You have problems on the rec yard. I was like, man, fuck you and your problems. This is kind of how I felt about it. You know, I was a little, I was a little uh, upset at the whole way he carried, I don't know. They the used way to recruit said, pretty heavy up there, man. Fuck, yeah, they did. Yeah. But I just told, basically I told him, he was like, um, this is what really pissed him off. He was like, yeah. Um, if, if a black person has sex with a white person, no matter the gender, blah, 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 the baby is always black. It's never white. Right? That's crazy. I, I was like, well. Ramiro, sup, Joe? Lick my softballs, please. I've been here since day one, my friend. I mean, really, if you've been here since day one, why do I have to lick the softballs? I don't really understand what's going on with that. <laughs> You've been here forever. We've been rocking together forever. Joe licked your softballs a long time ago. But I guess Connor's got to get ready to roll. Connor's got to go to work. It's going to be me and Dave. Me and Dave are going to do some pretty crazy shit together. I have no idea what this is going to entail. But oh, I promise you, it's going to be epic. Kekistanian. Is that really a thing? Hey, let me let Connor out of here, and then we're going to be getting right back to the stream. Holy shit. Are you leaving me alone? Yeah, the Dave, you got to you gotta hold this thing down for a second. Yeah, I kind of wild out on the guy. I Actually, the crazy thing is after I said it, I kind of regretted the whole thing because I was like, oh, fuck. There's a lot of these people here. So I, uh, I kind of regretted saying it, but it was probably good of me to do it. Shout out to Stickman. Any of you do time at higher level prisons like Keem out and a Red Onion? Oh, yeah, Never was, made it all the way up there. I, I was at tattoos, I was at a level five. I was at Sussex One. So was Connor. Connor was at Sussex One also. Joe never made it to a level five. No. Joe probably would have never survived at a level five. Connor, you need some help taking these bags out? It really Connor's got all of his tattoo stuff over here. It really ain't that bad, man. You're just surrounded by more people that aren't going home anytime soon. Oh man, it's raining ass That's off. That's the worst man. thing. Your boy Tim, much love from Boston. Shout out to Boston, man. That's my spot. I love Boston. Give me the keys to the car. <laughs> All right, so Connor's getting ready to bounce. Joe, where's Joe's little vapor machine at? Joe's looking for his vape. Where's Cody's vape? Can I hit Cody's vape? We're going to have a vape off in this bitch. Can I hit Cody's vape? Joe, where's your vape at? Cody, throw the vape. Yeah. Shout out to Swiss Miss. Can You're doing a great can job, out, Joe, with your channel and all. Be proud. Can you tell me how a last day I'm in sorry, I had to let prison is and how the procedure releases? How do you get your street clothes? Huh? Swiss Miss. Street clothes. Doing a great job with the channel and all. Be proud. Can you tell me how your last day in prison was and the procedure being released? How do you get your street clothes? What? So last day in prison is kind of a crazy day. You're going to be under a immense amount of stress. You're going to be wondering if you're getting released tomorrow. Is everything going to go right? <laughs> Bukake, they sniff their seats quick. <laughs> that is hilarious. 
But anyways, on your last day in prison, you're going to be under so much damn stress and pressure because you're just going to be thinking of all of the variables. Is shit going to go right? Are you actually going to get released? You're going to be saying goodbye to your homeboys. You're going to be wondering, is anybody going to try to kill you on your last damn day in prison? Nice. To get your street clothes, you don't get street clothes. You get clothes that they release you from prison with. And that's just going to be whatever it is. When you go to prison, when you first go to prison... You go there in your street clothes. So say I got locked up today wearing what I'm wearing. When I get to the jail, I'm going to change out into my jumper. When I leave jail to go to prison, they're going to put me back in this clothes. And when I go to prison, they're going to throw this shit away. I'm going to get my prison clothes. You will never have your street clothes again. You will only have that outfit that they release you in. Hey, Connor, I'm going to holler at you tomorrow, man. I need some tattoos. I need some tattoos tomorrow. Lucky 13. Hey, I'm going to holler at you, bro. But again, you're only going to have that clothes that they give you, uh, and, and then you got to go buy new clothes. And that clothes that they give you, everybody in the free world can tell Fuck yeah. that you have been to prison. Peaches Junies, uh, peace out, Connor, killer, stream, Joe. Shout out to you. Thank you for being here. Did you hit the vape? Yeah, I hit the vape. That vape and this vape are totally different. And I hate this vape. The fuck? <laughs> Beer front. Hey, Joe, rocking with you for another live stream. What up, Dave Connor? Y'all rock. Glad to see the crew back together for another stream. Keep up the good work. You must be inspired. You've been inspiring me to work on myself, man. Really appreciate it. Beer Grunt, shout out to you, man. It means a lot that we can... It means a lot what we're able to do here with the After Prison Show. The fact that... Look... I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that I'm getting my life together. I want to see Dave doing everything in his power to get his life together. Connor as well. And if I can inspire others out there to do the same damn thing, that's a really awesome thing. Uh, boom. Uh, Goomba 18K. Hey, I sent you a dope canvas drawing. Hopefully you receive it soon. Shout out to you. I really, I really hope I get it too. You know I'm gonna be... a, do you know what a Goomba is? No, nah, what is it? Goomba. That's fucking... Uh, uh, what happened to my blanket? Koopa. Koopa. Koopa? Koopa? A Koopa Troopa? I don't know. A Goomba. It was the bad guys from fucking Mario Brothers. Oh, is that what it was? That's yeah. pretty damn crazy. The, the bad guy minions. But anyways, again, Connor had to roll. He had to go to work. Connor's coming over here tomorrow to do some more tattoo work on Joe. You guys let me know what you think of Connor's work. Joe's arm is peeling pretty bad. It's itching, too. That's what new tattoo work does. Joe just did a tattoo on Dave's leg today. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Can we see the little APS? Dave just got tatted with the APS today. What? <laughs> Dave is Dave is officially APS Army for life now. So sure. we got Dave in here with that. That's pretty damn awesome, man. Yeah. So now there's only me and you. We may go to painting your cast. We may do some work, like some painting work. Um, Navagango, something along them lines. Nova Love, Nogo. Nova, Nova Nago. I think that's it. Love the show, guys. Joe, I just started work, writing to a prison pen pal. What the hell do prisoners want to hear about on the outside world? Well, to be honest with you, it, it depends on whether you're male or female. You know, guys who are locked up, I'll be honest with you, most of the time they just want some kind of, somebody they can talk to. The connection. They just want some outside connection with anybody. It doesn't even really matter. If you're a woman... You know, sex talk is always good. I'm just being honest with you. That's really that's really a big thing. Uh, Peaches, Junies, Joe, I'm going to send you a real vape. Love from Colorado. Shout out to that. I don't know what this is. This is like an e-cigarette or something. This thing sucks. Yo, but hold up. Let me see this. This is the coolest e-cigarette I've ever seen, though. You can fucking... It has a smoke... We're not promoting this e-cigarette, so who cares? Yo, you can actually fill this with whatever kind of juice you want to put in it. Yeah, I mean, I guess, but it still sucks. This juice I got in it sucks. Uh, Shan, uh, Shadoza, shout out to you. Thanks for being with us. But Dave, let's talk a little bit about, like, look, man. So, what kind of struggles are you dealing with out here in the world? What are, what are some things that you feel like could be triggers for you to end up messing it all up and for you, for you to go back? Man, going back, messing with my ex. So that girl that you were just hanging out with, having that threesome with, uh, is really bad news. And you just put that out there for the whole world. Yeah. It's all right, though, man. I mean, sometimes that's what it is. Uh, your boy Tim, major props for days for boning two slots uh, with a messed up leg. Poon for everyone. 
Yeah, it was <laughs> for real. It was a bad. It was a bad idea for real. Why? What? What was a bad idea about it? Because like I'm, I'm fucked up for leading her on. Not like the mermaid. Just want to say I love the live streams and I'm glad you're, to see you're not drinking. Thanks for responding to my DMs on Instagram. Shout out to you. Thanks for rocking with us today. The day ain't over yet. No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just playing. The I'm day just, is... No. I'm just playing. I'm telling you, yesterday was Cinco de Mayo. Joe sat in the house. You want to know what Joe ate for dinner last night? Oh, my God. This is the most embarrassing thing in the fucking world. <laughs> Cody, at, Cody, I didn't even tell you what I ate for dinner last night. Cody asked me after we got done with the stream. He was like, Joe, you want to get some dinner? I was like, nah, man, I'm good. I just want to I just want to be by myself and, and be lonely and miserable. Steve, wow, I just Googled EP, APS, and it's a pedo ring. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, get Google after prison show. That's what you do. But um, <coughs> so what Joe had for dinner last night is the craziest damn thing in the world. I literally ate chips and dip, pickles, Starburst. And cookies. And cookies. And cookies. <laughs> that was a full course meal right there. I didn't have to cook anything. I mean, it was all right there for me. President Tyrone, I know you are drinking, Joe. So I know you here, like drinking. Oh, you know, I like drinking. Uh, no, I don't. I'm not drinking anymore. You know, look, we are going to have these times in our lives where we deal with situations that you're going to fucking slip up. You will. I, I'm not perfect. I made my mistakes. I was out there drinking for damn near two weeks straight. Shit, I had Dave out there with me. You know? <laughs> That was one thing that I didn't really tell you guys. Dave was Dave was out there getting fucked up with Joe, too. But, hey, look, th those days are over, okay? I don't want to be sitting here partying all the time. Cody was telling me. He's like, look, Joe, you know, you were starting to get a little out of control. I'm glad you made the decision to stop. Uh, JS Dandy, hey, guys, thank you for the content. As the year, the school year ends, what would you say to high school seniors who aren't college ready? I think this is a good topic for a minute. What would you say, Dave? Man, don't waste time. That's what I did. That's why I ended up in prison at 18 years old. I came home and was like, oh, I'm going to enjoy the summer, this and that. And yeah, I went to prison that summer. That summer. And it wasn't, it was just because I got involved with a bunch of people doing a bunch of stupid shit. Yeah, I would say the same thing. Don't wait. <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> look, life is already short as it is. If you wait, it's only procrastinating. You're, you're only procrastinating. You. It, if school is a part of the plan for you, if you have a job that you're trying to pursue and school is a part of what it's going to take for you to get that job, then absolutely just go ahead and do it. Even if you don't feel like you're ready, you're probably more ready than you even think you are. Jessica, hey Joe, Jessica from Queens again. Can you give my husband Mike a shout out? He's a firefighter. Shout out to FDNY Firefighter. And we celebrated International Firefighters Day. Love the streams, Joe. Shout out to your husband, Mike. And shout out to the firefighters up in New York, man. That's really awesome right Thanks man. for all you do. Damn right. I, I can imagine that job up in, in New York has to be just absolute insanity. Right. But, um, so Dave, look, let's talk about this, right? What are some aspirations that you have for yourself now? Look, you've already been locked up. You've already gotten in all this trouble in your past. What are some things that you really, really want to accomplish with your life? Man, that's a... Uh, that's a... That's a strong question to ask, you know? Joe is Dr. Phil. Joe is actually the next Jimmy Kimmel Live, what we're turning after putting the show live stream into. Just letting you know here. We're going to be doing this on a major scale. But what, what, what are some things that you want to do? Man, I just, I kind of like some of the stuff we're doing here, man. And I want to. You kind of like. No, I mean, I mean like more than the other stuff. What do you mean? I'm like, totally lost. Like the person asking, what should I do? You know, what do you have to say to the kids that aren't college ready? You know what I'm saying? I feel motivated to, you know, do my best to help prevent other people from making the same decisions I made. So self, uh, so motivational speaking could be something that you could do. Some sort of youth yes. mentoring. Yes. Yes. I feel that, man. I feel that in, in so many ways. Just to be able to uplift somebody and motivate them. And, and to change their minds from, you know, I'm about to go do this, but I know I should be doing this, you know, to help motivate people to go do the right things, man. That's really awesome to hear. Uh, Pat Mac, Joe, what is your future plans for Connor and Dave on your YouTube channel? Are you going to be sharing revenue with them and have 
them on the show regularly. It goes like this. After Prison Show is really not even making ad revenue right now. Things are pretty fucked up on YouTube. Uh, Dave, I take care of Dave. I take care of everybody who rocks with After Prison Show. Believe me. That's all I need to say about that. But yeah, they're definitely going to be a major part of After Prison Show. And and I take care of my crew. That's the that's what I do. Uh, Rapey Greg, what the fuck? Hey Joe, Dave, we got a lot. Hey Joe, Dave, we got a lot in common. I just got out from a twenty five. Can I get that comment one more time? For raping and murdering prostitutes. Oh, never mind. Well, you know, Look, we Dave, you got some the, stuff in common, I guess. The only thing we have in common is that we just got out. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. And and the fact if you did that, you're definitely lying because you definitely would not be just getting out. What do you think? <laughs> oh my God! I, I'm reading the comment that Dave's yeah, laughing at. I just read. The- Eric Dottie still rocking with you, Joe. After prison show army for life. Shout out to you, Eric Dottie. There's some crazy comments going on. Dave, can you do any tricks with the vape? Show us some tricks. My God, man, where are you look, getting all this smoke? Look, I, when I first came home from prison, right? I was uh. I used to go into this smoke shop and buy cigarettes. And I only bought cigarettes from them because it was nothing but bad bitches that live behind or work behind there. Right. Your boy, Tim, how did you and Dave meet up after y'all were out? I hit it on Facebook and he asked me if I was still cutting hair. <laughs> I had to think about it. That's why I actually looked at you because I couldn't honestly remember. But I know it was through Facebook. This was, and Dave had been on After Prison Show before. Dave was on this show a long time ago. There was actually a video I did. I can't even remember what video it was. I know we went and it was something dealing with the moped. That's all I can really remember. Oh, I took you to go get a helmet. Yeah, we went and got a helmet for my moped. No, look, we started to do a serious show. Now I remember this shit. <laughs> Hold up, look. We started to do a serious show and I was, uh, you were asking me questions. We were at the park over by your old place out deep. Uh, yeah, that's okay. You can say it. They can swat the old location. Yeah, out deep creek. And um, we were sitting out there and we were talking. And then this woman let like her 30 kids out of her apartment. I do remember. We and they t- came up. And I guess there was like a spider on the playground or something. And it just got real ghetto real quick. She was yeah. like, oh my God. Oh my God. There was a... I was like, this don't get you know, I wish I still had that footage because that was crazy. Uh, Mr. Why, why is Facebook like jail? You have your profile picture. You sit around all day writing on walls and you get poked by guys. You really don't know. Shout out to that. <laughs> Mr. Why, I've actually heard that before, but that shit is kind of true. Man, my arm is itching. I wonder if my arm is going to fall off. All the guys now. that poked me, I knew them pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> But again, look, Dave had been on After Prison Show before, and when I first had him on, that was the plan was to do an interview with him. The problem is we tried to do the interview, and it got completely ruined by people in the background, all sorts of kids. That's the last one. <laughs> that was the last one what? I kind of just like smoked you. I was just like... Oh, man. Dave's like vaping his life away over here. He was showing me he could do tricks with the vape. He was doing these little tornado things. and <laughs> You going to show any vape skills on this? No, not with the fan going. I had to do too much. <laughs> <laughs> the fan is going to mess everything up here. So, again, look, guys. We had Connor on here. Connor had to go to work. Now it's going to be me and Dave. We're going to switch the stream a little bit. We may go to the art. Again, thinking about painting up Dave's cast. Let me know if we should do that and what Joe should paint on Dave's cast. We may just do that. Wizniz, Joe, you was looking badass in prison pictures. You know, I really wasn't, but thank you for the kind words. Joe, Dave, let's talk about that a little bit real quick. What was it like to go take pr- uh, pictures in prison? For real, it was a pain in the ass. I did it one time and was like, man, fuck this. But talk about like the fact that when you ha- when you go in there and there's all them people in there waiting to take pictures as well. Like what are those guys doing when they're waiting to take pictures? <laughs> they are they're doing the beef up real quick. <laughs> Drop down, give them 50, 50 push ups or something. Uh, just making face. I don't know, man. Why are they doing the push ups though? Because they oh, want to look. They, they're trying to swell up for the photo because you know they about to send it some. Some chick on the street. Did you ever do that yourself where you yes, went to I, take the picture yes, and you were I trying did. to look all swole? Yes, I did. 
Yes, I did. Baker, shout out to you. Hey, from the UK. Keep doing what you're doing. As I can relate, your videos are funny, but also accurate to prison life here in UK. Baker, shout out to you. Thanks for rocking with us today. Here, this here's a picture of my... Uh... Oh, Dave's got some pictures. We're about to start showing off Dave's... We better not leak. My God, Dave. You look like a serial killer in this picture. Man. <laughs> this isn't you. Yes, it is. This is not you. That's me. You guys want to see what Dave looked like in prison? <laughs> this is not the Dave I remember. Oh, this no. guy looked like he ate little children for a living. <laughs> God. <laughs> Let's see if we can see Dave's <laughs> prison picture. Look at this guy right here. I mean, oh, my God. What does Dave look like in this picture? Can anybody let me know That's that? right after they started uh, letting us grow our beards. <laughs> That's crazy, Dave. Your face actually takes up that entire screen. Was that on purpose? Yeah, that was on purpose. Pretty interesting. <laughs> so again, look, we're thinking about painting on Dave's cast. We've got the paintings in the background that we've done from the other Paint Night streams. Hope you guys rocked with those as well. Those are on eBay. Cody's been putting the link to that uh, in the comments. And yeah, we're going to continue to talk about the prison stuff. We did want to do the stream earlier today because of the simple fact that well, we've been doing them late, and we I feel bad for the people who are in different area codes, different time zones, who may have to stay up all night to watch these streams. Do hope all of you are rocking with the stream. Greatly appreciate the entire APS Army standing behind this, as this is kind of becoming something that we're really enjoying to do. Again, we will be doing videos. I've got a ton of videos planned. I just, I really need some time to shoot some videos. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah, I, I do. I also want to hear from you guys. Like, what kind of what kind of videos do you want to see? I've got a bunch of crazy stuff on the way, including what not to say. You know, if you're a tattoo artist, like, what are some things that you really shouldn't be saying uh, to somebody that you're tattooing? Uh, is is this supposed to bleed this much? You know, like, but I've got. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see your arm. Hold still. This is my first time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Or here, this is one Joe did. Shout out to... <laughs> you never need to be looking away from the tattoo oh while you're God. actually doing it. But again, yeah. Look, um, we are going to continue this thing. I mean, I'm rocking with this all damn day. That's what I'm, I'm hoping to do. Uh, Peaches, Junies, Dave, you definitely look like you got l a lot less rapey. <laughs> Dave looked like the Craigslist killer in that in that picture right there. Shout out to Dave for looking like a... Dave looked but like... But I'm saying, though, look. Tell the truth, like when you're in prison, you got to have that, you got to, you know, keep some type of persona about yourself. So you have to be fake is what you're saying. Everybody is. You're, 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 that is that's true to a certain degree. Oops, Joe, your pants look like you wet them, bro. P.S. Do they really? I'm sorry, it's the lighting in here. Uh, P.S. Does Dave's cast smell like those girls of Vava juice? You know, I really wonder what your what your toes smell like right well, now. Well, it ain't even the toes. Like, from where she was riding at, like, right here, there's a little bit of... Um, Condensation? Yeah, it got a little... That is disgusting. That is absolutely... That's that's disgusting, man. Well... So, Dave, let's talk about your first day coming home from prison. What do you remember about that very first day? Man, I was a freaking hot mess, bro. And why, why were you? It's like... And I was anxious about everything. There was so many decisions to be made. I'll never forget. My mom picked me up from prison. And she took me to, uh, we went to this place. And she's like, "Where? what do you want to eat? And I'm like looking around. I was like, uh, we were at the Naval Exchange. And when I'm like looking around in the commissary at all these different restaurants they had. And I was like, it was just lunch. I was like, oh, let's do the Chinese food. It was Panda Express. And if anybody knows about Panda Express, you go up there and there's this like, 50 different things to choose from and I've what never kind had, of, I've what never kind had of rice this, but... you want what, what do you want in the rice what do you this and that and they're asking me all these questions man and I'm just like I flip shit like I looked at my mom and was like man fucking you pick something damn so it was just like, way too much anxiety yo know? and my mom looked at me like what the fuck is wrong with Dave I was like fuck just fuck just put something in the damn box Look, and that's a really good point that you bring up because people don't understand like what that anxiety is like when you first get out into the free world. Everything is just so... It's like, fuck, put a frozen piece of meat and two pieces of bread on the damn plate. I'll be all right. You're, because you're used to things being just a certain way for so long. They maybe do it's it years. for you. They do everything for you. Right. The only uh, thing they don't do for you is all the shit you're not allowed to do. Yeah, <laughs> that you do yourself. <laughs> that's weird. What do you think the most trouble that you ever got in while you were locked up was? Oh, 
Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right. So um, there was a uh, a nurse that came to the pod in Virginia Beach jail all the time, right? And she was so nice. Everybody thought that she wanted to fuck them, right? Wow. Everybody did. So if, if a female staff member is nice to you, a lot of guys are already going to be under the assumption, she likes me. Right, right. But this is the fucked up thing, right? Instead of everybody being like, oh, she likes me, everybody kept telling me like, yo, Dave, I think she likes you. Right? <laughs> everybody was like beefing this shit up. So, uh, so they were putting the battery in your back. Right. So... Uh, Mr. Y, uh, I don't even know what that is. Janice not vo- Novak, uh, did you meet any child molesters in prison? If so, how did other people treat uh, him? Dave, talk about child molesters that you met while you were locked up, if you knew any. Um, They weren't around that long. Like, they'd come in. You know, I wasn't the guy who ran up to everybody when they first came in and be like, hey, how you doing? My name's Dave. No, I didn't do that shit. So like they'd come in and then like a like a, a little bit of time would go by and then like someone would come up to me and be like hey remember that new guy I'd be like yeah well he just got hit in the face with a lock and he's off the yard you know? remember that new guy that you were walking around with the other day <laughs> <laughs> turns out he he ate out he like ate... five little kids buttholes oh god you know I mean I saw one time in particular that I can't help but remember there was this young kid he was on the news he did some horrible stuff he raped an old woman. Put her in the trunk of a car, an induction charge. He robbed her in the ATM machines where this whole thing first started from. But he was on the news, high profile. This guy, this kid, he's being brought into the jail. This is in Chesapeake. We're on the old side. You've got one cell block across from the other cell block. You're able to look through the window, through the bars. You can see the other cell block. And I'll never forget watching the two COs bringing this kid down the hall. And they put him right in the cell block. As soon as they put him in there, the entire... Everybody in there jumped on this guy, beat his ass. The guards stood right there waiting for them to get done beating his ass. And then they drug him back out and they took him away. And that was the last time I ever saw that guy. But, you know, guards will treat people with those kind of charges just as bad as the prisoners do. And Absolutely. I mean, set and them it, up. And it should be that way, really. If you got those kind of charges, it really should be. Schofield. Hey, shout out to Michael Schofield. Dave, how close were you to being killed in prison? Any real close calls? Yeah, I started. Uh... I started doing tattoos when I was in a prison for uh, a certain gang, and uh, they hooked me up with a with a tattooing kit, had everything, and I was tattooing for them. I did a couple tattoos, and then one night I was in my cell, and I was cleaning, fixing the tattoo gun, and the police walked by, and instead of taking me to the hole for having all the paraphernalia, they just came in the cell and confiscated all of this gang's prison uh, tattoo equipment. Yeah, it didn't belong to you. It belonged to the gang. You were right. basically renting it for your protection, basically. Well, not even that. I was, they were looking, they can't, I knew a guy that was in the gang. He hooked it up. I was making money. They were getting tattoos. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I did tattoos on them for pretty much nothing to have this tattoo gun and equipment. And they set me up because I had just got there. They gave me, you know, like all the hygiene stuff I needed and everything. And then I could tattoo on other people and make money. So what happened after the what happened after the COs confiscated the tattoo equipment? Well, the C D players are how much? About thirty bucks. A Sony C D player. Oh, about sixty. About sixty bucks. <laughs> so um he they come in my cell the next morning and they're like, Yeah, we seen the police took our shit, you owe us sixty dollars. I was like, Well fuck, I ain't got sixty dollars right now. Leah, shout out to you, love the videos, man. Really means a lot for having you here. I ain't got no $60 right now. And there's like seven of these dudes standing in my cell, right? So they're like, you got three days to give us our money or, you know what I'm saying, pretty much blood on my knife type situation. Blood on my knife or... Shit on my dick. Shit on my dick. That's what they say in prison. Blood on my knife or shit on my dick. Your choice. Yeah, and that's some real shit. Uh, Marine Le Pen, uh, love the videos, Joe. Viva la France. Shout out to that praise Keek. What yeah. is what is Keek? Can I get that Googled real quick? We have to figure out what the fuck that shit is. Oh, it's a meme. Shout out to the meme then. So, uh, yeah, I was trying to figure it out. Couldn't. And finally, it was just like, you know, fuck it. 
we'll see what happens in three days. And they ended up ship. I got shipped off. I was in uh, receiving. Right. And my time came. They ended up shipping me. Oh, oh so you got you got you got lucky as shit. Yeah. Uh, Shindoza, Joe, I want to do a painting along with you in one of your videos. What the hell was that? You said Cortana. Cortana. Uh, Joe, I want to do a painting along with one of your videos. Uh, you can get an Amazon affiliate account and link all of the supplies. I would, I, you know, I've really been thinking about doing that. Uh, look, I like doing the painting videos, and I know there's probably people who want to paint along with us. And paint night, like after prison show paint night, is something that I'm really thinking about doing. And exactly with that affiliate thing, helping you guys get the supplies, I think that'd be a really awesome thing. Mr. Y, shout out to you for what you're doing, man. Mm -hmm. Muhammad, shout out to you. Uh, did you meet any Muslims in prison? How do they practice their faith, their prayers, and fasting? Yeah, there's plenty of uh, Muslims in prison, and their religion is respected by the prisons. They're able to buy prayer rugs, their Qurans. Uh, they do Ramadan in prison. That's something that they're allowed to practice. Yeah. yeah. I was real tight with a couple. Um, do you remember Mahmoud? Not offhand, no. Yeah, Pull over! People in the comments are calling Sky Ho again. This needs to stop. Show her some love at Sky Hudson 1997. That's crazy. Sky you know what? I mean, that's just crazy. Cody's trying to get that squared away right now. Cody's on top of that. Shout out to Sky though. She she catches a lot of hell in the in the comments section. It's unfortunate, man. Well, I hate to see that. Who is she? I don't know. She's a fan of APS. It's it's a sad situation, man. What happens? I don't know Scott? why everybody. I don't know why everybody's giving her hell. Hey, hold on one sec. Joe's got to get a drink, man. And I'm not talking about a beer. Hey, Dave, you want a drink? Yes. Please. Hey, anybody watching the stream, you guys need a drink? Let me know. I got Mountain Dew. I think that's all I got. Yeah. So I definitely got shipped off that compound before anything happened. But I pretty much came to the conclusion that shit was about to hit the fan, and I basically just you should see me. When I left my cell, my shoes were strapped to my fucking kneecaps. I never, n never, my pant, my belt was always tight. I was ready to go at any given time. I didn't know what was going to happen. I was looking behind me everywhere I went. And when they finally called my name that night to shit me off, I was so relieved just to the fact that I didn't have to look over my shoulder no more. Hey, we're popping cold ones here at After Prison Show. Shout out to Mountain hey. Dew Co. Red right here. Oh my god, I definitely needed a fucking drink. That code red is where it's at. Hey, but look, so I'm thinking about the next phase of the stream right now. Look, we had talked about doing this uh, this prison lasagna bowl, Dave. Yeah. And I, I'm pretty sure I've got most of the ingredients that we need to do this. Actually, I'm quite sure I've got all of the ingredients in my refrigerator because the only thing that Joe has in his cupboards right now is actually... Ramen noodles, cheese, crackers, basically everything you need to make a prison meal. So there's a potential that we could be turning this stream right here because Connor left. And, you know, we want to keep this thing rolling. We may go to a prison cooking video or we may go to painting on Dave's cast. I want all of you to comment what you want to see. Whether you want to see Joe and Dave do some prison cooking or do you want to see Joe painting on Dave's cast. Jesse, shout out to you. Hey, sup, Joe from Cali. How are pedophiles treated in prison? Like pedophiles? Like pedophiles. No, no bullshit. Like, it goes like this. Them guys are usually segregated. Them guys are usually housed in a whole different part of the prison. That way, people can't get to them. A lot of times, they're on protect, in protective custody. A lot of times, they're shipped to prisons that are just for them. Yeah. Uh, what, what's the um, um um? Oh my God! Look at all the cooking comments. Cooking, 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 cooking. My God, we're going cook meth. Somebody said cook meth. <laughs> <laughs> it's all cook. It's all Everybody cook. wants to see the food video. We're gonna have to change the thumbnail. I've seen a couple that said do both. We're gonna have to change the thumbnail here. You're. I hear you. I see these comments. They are going out of control. We're about to cook some. We're about to cook. What are we gonna cook? We're gonna cook this uh, this prison lasagna. Uh, we're gonna do a triple layer. Um... I've got pepperonis. I've got some Italian sausages. Man, we're about to hook this thing up, Dave. We can. Cody, what are you doing? You're you're eating some? Are you gonna eat while we're starving? No, he's cook, cooking mine right now. So. Oh man, Cody's cooking his food. Shout out to Cody. Cody's eating behind the scenes and handling, holding all this down. Mr. Hawaii Keek is LOL. Yep, alternative. Um. It comes from an online game, World of Warcraft, Kickistan, 
uh, place for internet trolls and laughing. Uh, hashtag dumb internet slang. Hey, shout out to Mr. Y. Thank you for letting me know Thanks, that. Thanks, bro. We, me and Dave, we're not too hip to the, to some of this stuff. Definitely Dave, don't do much Warcraft. I know I got a lot of friends that do that wild shit. But I'll hit them up and be like, yo, what you doing tonight? Uh, wow. <laughs> hey, so Cody, can we change the stream in, in the midst of it? So that's what we're going to do. Your, uh, your voice has been heard. Me and Dave are actually about to, we're going to switch this whole thing over to the cooking. Uh, we're going to do that as soon as Cody gets things situated over there. We're going to move the camera over there. We're going to move the mic. We're going to go to the kitchen. Are you going to be able to get your broke wing over there? Yeah. Shout out oh, to that. Yeah, and we're going to dive right in. Dive? Joe, where do you get such a gay voice? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it came from prison. Who knows? But um, Look what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> Look at what I can do. What did that come from? That came from Mad TV, right? Yeah. Look what I can do. What's his name? Tyler or some shit? <laughs> oh, shit. Look at what I can do. Uh, where did that come from? Can anybody please let me know that? Bottles and bottles of Angusil. <laughs> Hungry Fat Man XXL. Keep up the good work, man. Much love from ATL Georgia. Shout out to you. Hit me up on PlayStation. Hungry Fat Man XXL. Yeah, we're definitely about to go to this cooking thing right now. And we're going to have a vape off. I bet you I can blow most... <laughs> well, I, I can't do that. <laughs> let, me, let me try that one, man. Like, just, just inhale. Just... Yeah, and blow out as soon as you're done. <laughs> Look, you don't want it in your mouth. You don't want it in your mouth. You just want it. Oh. Oh. God. <laughs> Finish the nurse story, Dave. Oh. <laughs> so, look, so I had to go get some blood work done, and she grabs my hand, and she puts my hand. In her lap. So you were having like a Michael Schofield, uh, Sarah Trancredi moment right here. I don't even know what that is. That's from Prison Break. Yeah, I haven't watched that show. Okay, well that's what you were having. Okay, right, so so he he she puts my hand in her lap to do my blood work, right? And all the comments from the guys in the block going, man, I think she likes you. She Wisness, really likes shout you. out to you. Thanks for rocking with us today, man. So I kind of like. So she put her hand, she put your hand in her lap, and you kind of what? You kind of grabbed the cha-cha? Right, I kind of just like let my finger graze the cha-cha to see like if she was she was about it. And what happened when you did that? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Mr. Mr. Y, Janaz Novak, how far did you guys go in education? Did you finish high school or college? And what education programs did they have in prison? I got my GED while I was locked up. Dave, how far did you go? I got my GED after I came home from prison the first time. As far as programs that they have in prison that you can do... Uh, I was part of the HVAC program. Yeah, they got HVAC. They have um, small engine repair. And this is just that one particular prison. Some have electrical courses. Some have brick masonry, hair cutting. Certain prisons, in the state of Virginia at least, they do offer certain trades. The problem is some of these trades take years to get into them. Uh, the boss R, did you have any good friends that went to death row? How are critically ill patients treated in prison? Oh, man. You know, I didn't know anybody who went to death row. I knew plenty of people who definitely got life in prison. Dave, did you know anybody who went to death row? No. A sickum. Hey, World of Warcraft is the shit. LOL, sup, Joe? Shout out from Arizona. Shout out to you. I need to play some World of Warcraft. I need to get into that. Yeah, a lot of people play it. I just never got into it. Like, everybody I know that fucks with it started doing it while I was in prison. So when I came home and they were like, yeah, we're about to just sit in front of the computer for the next four hours. I was like, ah, I'm going to go out. And let me answer that last question real quick about the the the, the ill patients. The Yeah, that shit kind of pisses me off. Like, people who are sick, people who are, like, really sick in prison, a lot of times they don't get any kind of special treatment. As a matter of fact, there was a guy that I knew... Uh, Dave, I don't know if you met this guy, but he had, he was in a wheelchair. He had a freaking uh, yeah. That was that's why I'm pissed off. The guy who died while we were at Indian Creek. Well, he oh, did he die? Yeah, I didn't remember that. But there was another guy who was in a wheelchair. He had a glassectomy bag. I think that's what it's called. Or, uh, 
a vasectomy bag. <laughs> I don't think it's vas- <laughs> It's not a vasectomy bag. A hysterectomy bag. <laughs> It's not funny that we're <laughs> laughing at this, okay, Dave? We're so not laughing at him. We're laughing at the way Joe's trying to pronounce this. But the thing about the it center? is, this guy was sick. This guy was really sick. And this guy literally got his ass kicked just like he was a regular person. Oh, a I young kid that. a young kid beat this kid so bad. And so a lot of times, again, you don't get any really special treatment or favoritism or any passes for being, like, sick. Oh, yeah, you ain't going to sit in a wheelchair and just sit there and fucking talk, talk shit. shit yeah, it's just not gonna ain't nobody going to walk up and smack you out your chair. It's it's fucking crazy, but that's the way that it goes. Hey, look, Cody, are we going to be able to move everything to the kitchen? Yeah, give me like uh, five more minutes. Cody's trying to get everything set up for the next phase of the stream, which is going to be Joe and Dave cooking. If you're just joining us, thanks for being here. Connor had to roll. But me and Dave, we're about to hold it down. We're gonna do some. Uh, we're gonna do some prison cooking, man. We're gonna cook up a, a, a dope ass meal. JS Dandy, uh, thanks for the great response to my last question. Next up, what advice for to somebody who feels like they're an imposter at work? Uh, if they do a good job at work but feel like they're always faking it until they make it. Look, sometimes in life, that's what you have to do. Sometimes you do have to fake it until you make it. Matter of fact, the last prison that me and Dave were at, that was the motto of that place. Of the prisoners. Fake it until you make it. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff that they made. Hoops. Like, all right, a lot of people would go there and they had more than two years left. See, when I went there, I only had 24 months left. exact Or 25 months left, exactly. I had like two and a half years left when I got there. Right, but there's some people that are under uh, BCP. Yeah, and they got, yeah. Right, they got like three or four, maybe even five years remaining. But if they jump through all the hoops that this prison has for them, all the different programs and classes and meetings and groups and do all that shit that they asked you to do, if they did that, they could go home in 24 to 30 months. Fake it until you make it, but that's the yes, and that's where the fake it till you make it came in. But that's a bad way to look at fake it until you make it because at that prison, that's really what they taught you was to fake it until you make it. So you weren't even learning anything there. You were just trying to get through the program itself. In the real world, though, sometimes you really do have to fake it until you make it, and that may sound bad in itself. But like, say you're at a job. Say there's things that you don't like about that job. Say you're at a school. There's things you don't like about that school. Sometimes it is easier. To just go along and try to keep, uh, you know, a positive frame of mind, even though you may not feel so positively about that situation, whether it be school, whether it be work, you know, and what that will entail is it kind of tries to make it easier for you. Because if you're miserable in that situation and you let everybody know that you're miserable, well, that's only going to make the situation worse. So sometimes it is better to, in all likelihood, fake it until you make it. Something else I found out is, you know, I, I, I'm not going to fake it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out a way to enjoy myself in the middle of what I'm doing. Like, like, uh, I was doing fence work, right? Right. And I really didn't like doing fence work, right? I, I, it was fucking boring to me, but I really like working out. I really enjoy working out. So I would, I would use it. You know what I'm saying? And I would just go balls to the wall and see how much I could get done in a day. And I kind of like motivated myself because I'm not doing it to build this fucker's fence. I'm you doing it saying? to get the work out. Right. I'm doing it to get the work. Michael G, what's up, Joe? Hope you're doing okay. How's Dave's broken leg? Uh, how has how has Dave's leg got broken, been talked about? Um, what happened? APS for life. Shout out to you, Michael G. Sorry for messing that all up. Dave. Dave has talked about how his leg got broken. He actually fell off of a freaking 20-foot roof. He fell from 20 feet. Yeah, I was, uh, some people that got hit by a tornado out here, and we were tarping their houses off in the middle of the night. I was probably out working for like 30 hours, and like 2 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday morning, my ladder came out from underneath me, and I fell straight down 20 feet. Broke my leg, fucked my ankle up. Fuck this leg up. Fuck the foot up. My hands messed up. My elbows are messed up. So you're just a broken mess after this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm doing it all pain med free. And and congratulations to you for doing that. It really takes a lot to be able to do it without the medication. But I I do want to say this. Before you have the pity party for Dave, I, I have to say this. 
When we go out in public, I have never seen <laughs> more women talk to a guy with a broken leg. So if you're like old Joe here and you're not really having much luck with the ladies, it may be a good idea to take a sledgehammer across your leg, smash it to pieces, end up in a cast like Dave. <laughs> and don't nobody go do this. Uh, let's go ahead and put an advisor out there right now. A disclaimer. Don't go smashing your leg. But uh, like I see, we went to lunch. We went to freaking uh, some hot dog place today. That sucked. I'll never go there again. But <laughs> the waitress is like hanging all over Dave. Oh my God, what happened to your leg? And I'm like, you know, I'm getting mad now because all the women just want to talk to Dave. And I say, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, sweetheart. The story gets better every time he tells it. <laughs> it totally fucked me up. She was like, oh, so you broke it? All right, you want another drink? Mr. Y, would Dave or Connor do a paint along with Joe in the future live stream? That would be a good idea. That definitely would be a good idea. We could do, a, again, a after prison show paint night where not only are like you, Connor, maybe both of you guys are doing the painting along with me, but everybody else could be as well. I think that would be kind of a cool thing to do. Yeah. yeah. Like, I could literally teach. I could, I could teach. Say, like, you know, I can draw, but I've never taken it to that painting. And painting is really easy as long as you just take your time and just follow the techniques. It's all about the techniques and knowing the steps that you need to do. Yeah, I'm totally down. Hey, look, this is really bothering me. Cody, how close are we to the cooking video? Somebody says, I suck hot dogs. <laughs> Hungry Fat Man XXL, shout out to you, man. Shout out to that PlayStation username, man. All right, so let's talk this video, this stream we're about to start, right? Right. So what are, what are we doing? We're going to be cooking, Dave. Me and you are getting ready to go to the kitchen. We're going to the After Prison Show studio kitchen. And what we're going to be doing in there is we're going to be cooking a prison meal. We're going to do like a triple layer bowl, right? Well, what we're going to do, look, now let's, let's just talk about this for a second. When you're in prison, sometimes you don't exactly know what you're going to be making for your prison meal. It's all about what you have, okay? So we're going to explore Joe's claw. Uh, we're going to explore Joe's pantry. We're going to explore my, my refrigerator. We're going to break out all of the prison cooking supplies that we have, or the, the commissary items, basically. And we're going to look at this, and we're going to figure out the best plan of attack for what kind of prison meal we can put together. Now, hey, that's crazy to say that. My, how many times... Shout out to Hezo. Hezo, hey, I have not seen any of your videos, uh, so why did you go to prison? Uh, what did you do? I killed 1,500 people. I, I did. I shot them all. And, and I drove them away. And, and now I'm, I'm home free. I did. Um, and I drove him home. No, what I did was I sold drugs. I got caught for selling drugs. I made a lot of mistakes in my past. Dave used to steal a bunch of shit. Dave, <laughs> Dave is just a thieving ass son of a bitch. I'm a cat burglar. He's a cat burglar. He's probably breaking into your house at nighttime. If anything's ever come up missing in your <laughs> Yo, life for mind. anybody who's out here watching, <laughs> blame a son of a bitch like Dave. because Like Dave, but not Dave. You don't know if it was Dave or not. Dave. Shit, I remember uh, the first time, hey look, the first time I got picked up, it was I was totally innocent, right? Right. I literally. But we're, then, we're all totally innocent. All right, let's just change the subject. <laughs> okay. We can switch scene whenever you're ready. Oh, okay. I was wondering what Cody was saying. So, okay, check out. Here's what we're about to do. We are about to go to the kitchen thing. We're going to take about two minutes to get set up for that, and we'll be back in my kitchen. Get ready for the Joe and Dave After Prison Show <laughs> cook-off. It's going to be what? Hell's Kitchen here on After Prison Show. Are you guys ready? Are you excited? Well, let's get ready. We're going right now.
We're in the kitchen. Oh. Shout out to everybody who stuck around for this. We're getting ready to go to Joe and Dave cook off. It's the after prison show cook off. First thing we've got here is Dave bouncing all around. We do have the bowls that we're going to be needing for this. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through Joe's kitchen and we're going to find all of, because all I have in my kitchen is basically prison cooking commissary items. You would think that Joe would actually get some real food in his kitchen, <laughs> but he doesn't have it. Look at Dave. Dave's already got the meal set up back here. Can we see Dave? Like, I can't see anything. I really need better, better stuff going on here. So Dave back here has got all sorts of stuff. We've got the noodles. The staple. Gotta have the noodles. We've got some cheese dudes. Some bar man, we are about to have a freaking cook-off here, man. We've got all sorts of stuff. We're getting set up. Mr. Hawaii, shout out to you. Have you made any cakes in prison to celebrate birthdays or other events? Absolutely. We will do a stream completely dedicated to making prison cake. So look for that in the very near future. I've got some cheese in here somewhere. Where is my cheese at? Joe, where's the cheese whiz? Is it over there, uh, Cody? Because Joe was eating cheese on the couch last night. Joe was a lonely old sap. Oh, wait, it's up there. I got it. Hey, we could use some moonshine jam for this. That'll be when we make... Why don't we make a cake when we're done? What do we got to make a cake with? You got a whole bunch of box of oatmeal cakes. That's about it. Yeah, we don't have the cookies, though. We got no cookies. We need cookies for making a prison cake. Yes, we do. We don't have those. Okay, so look. We are about to start doing... We're going to cook something. We're going to break out all of the ingredients that we have, and we're going to try to put together the most bomb-ass prison meal that we can concoct. Josh Wright, good to see you back, Dave. Shout out to you, Josh Wright. Hey, grab that bag of uh, tortilla chips right here. I'm going to use the bag. I had another bag, but I had to get rid of it. What do we... We need something to put your tor tortilla chips in. In the trash. Oh, wait, no, I need those. <laughs> For late lonely nights? For late lonely nights. Alright. Here, grab me the cereal jar. You're gonna put it in the cereal? <laughs> I'm gonna dump the cereal out. That's a good idea. We're gonna dump out the cereal. I got socks on my I've got socks on my counter in here. This is crazy. Cody's awesome. Shout out to Cody showing off his dope technical skills. Cody is not having fun with this at all right now. Shout out to Cody for keeping this thing rocking though. I just made that thing too. Huh? All right, can you get these chips in here? We're gonna do it. All right, we're. So Dave, uh... what? Are... <laughs> Dave, don't get these chips all over my floor, man. Yo, I still. When they fell, all I could think of was the other day when you were like, "Don't get." That my... doesn't go on the floor. That does. Nothing goes on the floor. Beer grunt. If y'all can't take the heat, get out the kitchen. Looking forward to watching you throw down on the APS Food Lab. You should get a Discord for a bit at the end of the stream, Joe. We miss you here, man. Hey, I might just do that. All right, so look, Dave. Are we gonna make a? What are we gonna make? We're gonna make a small. We're gonna make bowl shots. No, check me out. This is how we do it, right? We are. I guess we are gonna need something. We can probably use this, like a rip it open at the end. We're flatten it out as much as we can, right? And then you take the bowl. And you like cookie cut out pieces of the dough, right? That are big enough to go in the bowl. So you'll put a a piece in, then you'll do your layer, and then you'll do another piece and do another layer. So we're gonna have to cut this open. We're gonna need to use a soda. We're gonna need that multiple times though. No, only one time. Yeah, I'm gonna cut it open and roll that summer bitch out as big as the bag will be. Right. Let me see here. But what I'm saying is, we'll get two out of that. Two. We'll get, we'll get four out of it. That's I don't think we, we do. will. I think so. What if we don't? What do we do if we don't get four, Dave? Then we're going to be stuck making a spread. So you let me know right now. Do you want to make the spread or do you want to make the bowl shots? I say we make the spread. I say we make a spread, too. We're gonna make the spread, y'all. The we're spread's gonna spread. be an easier. The spread's gonna be easier, and we're gonna be able to hook this thing up to the max. You we do, do need. A, we do need a board, though. We got a board right there. We got a board right there. You want to do like a? Um, Shadonza, uh, did Peaches and Punk Tattoo guy ever get into a fight over Old Joe? <laughs> no, they didn't even know each other. Punk Tattoo guy was back from when I was 18 years old. 
and Peaches was from the last time that I was locked up. So they never knew each other. Had they known each other, though, they may have fought over me. I'm somebody that you would fight over, I like to think. Maybe, I don't know. Dave, would you have ever fought over me in prison? Would I have ever fought over you? Yeah, would you have fought over me? I mean, if me and a guy were getting into a rumble and you fell on the floor, I might have. Anyways, thanks to everybody for rocking with us as we switch the stream over to Joe and Dave cooking here. We're about to make something really awesome right here. Shout out to everybody rocking with the stream on a Saturday. Let me know what time it is wherever you guys are at. Give me a one in the comments section. If you're rocking with us, give me a two if you're like, what the hell is going on? Pat Mack has the broke leg improved Dave's game with the ladies. <laughs> you better believe it has. Hey, actually, look, it's actually making my game suck because I don't need any game. I don't have to say shit. They just pull up and say, oh, my God. You've what got happened? a broken wing. Oh, wow, wow. What happened? Ladies love Dave like everybody in prison loves broken wing. It's crazy. You feel bad for the underdog. All right. So we're going to be mashing up some stuff over here. Cammy B, shout out to you. Joe, I'm 19, facing 2 to 10 on a heroin. I was a heroin addict from 16 to 18, been clean a year. Your videos help me stay straight, man. Thank you. Go to court uh, in a month. Please pray for me. Also, we need more days. Good luck with you on the court situation. I really hope that works out. And, uh, yeah, Dave is definitely a part of APS. Dave's got an APS tattoo today, so Dave is definitely in it to win it. Yeah, if Joe kicks me out now, I'm stalking him. All right, look, you want to put some cheese, dude? We're going to have to bust up these cheese curls. Yeah. They got to go in there. Look. The goldfish? I'm thinking it gives it that, that a, a thick. It'll give it that bread that we need, more starch, as if we need more starch. <laughs> <laughs> Did you put any seasoning packs in here? No, not yet. No I mean, seasoning pack. I probably put, like, two in the base. Save one for the top. How many, how many noodles we got here so far? Just the two. So you put two, I put... No. I put the one. The you put one, I got one. Yeah. All right, we're going to need probably, one, I'm, I'm going to say one more noodle. Yeah. I you think that's going to be definitely enough. more stuff to go on this thing. Yeah, this thing is going to be super, super small right here. We're going to cook it in the bag. You got any newspaper? Uh oh. We're gonna, we, I don't think we'll need it. Um, put the bag. Oh, we can't cook the bag? Where the hell? Yeah. You can cook that. Not in the microwave. Cody, can't you put that in the microwave? That's not that's not metal. Yeah, that's why we wrap the wraps in prison with newspaper, because it would make the fucking yeah, it'd be like ba -ba 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 Jen, your shit would show up on record as recommended when I would get here. You need to tighten the hell up though, real talk, and realize what? Your shit would show up on recommended. Uh -huh. Look, she said, your shit would show up as recommended when I get on here. You need to tighten the hell up and real talk. Don't let me find y'all back in jail. Basically, she's just saying, good job. Don't fuck up. Uh, hey, you That's can't blame me at. for that. You got to blame YouTube for that. Uh, not like the mermaid. Or not like the mermaid. Hey, Joe, have you tried the new red, white, and blue Mountain Dew yet? I haven't. Yeah, it's, yeah we can't find it. It's called Dew SA. Code red, white out, and voltage mixed together is pretty awesome. But that sounds like a that sounds like a suicide when you put when you go to the soda fountain and you put everything in the when you're a kid. You're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty awesome. I definitely did that when I was a kid. I used to go to this place called uh, Flipper McCoy's. Hold on. So if we can't put this in the microwave, what are we gonna do, dude? All we need is um something. We need Grab something. That. We're taking stuff out of the trash to make this prison meal. This is legit prison cooking. Meal. Huh? Chipotle. Chipotle sponsoring this prison cooking video right here. Uh, Dilla, Dilla B. Uh, hey Joe, thank you for doing what you're doing and inspiring a lot of people. Keep it up. Shout out to Michigan. Shout out to Michigan. Thank you for being here. Oh my God. 
All right, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna wrap it up in this. Yeah, we're just gonna rip that open and use it to wrap it up, so we can cook it, and then when we pull it out, we'll flatten it out. Okay. We don't need to cook this in the microwave. What are you talking about? We just gotta put the hot water in here. All right. Fuck oh. it. We're gonna eat it cold. <laughs> Dave at Dave. How many of Joe's videos have you watched and you watch the streams when you're not participating? Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I definitely watch the videos. I watched That's how, no, that's what happened. That's how I, I contacted him on Facebook. I was on YouTube or something and uh, somebody was, someone sent me a, 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 a thing, was like, hey man, your boy is on, um, your boy blew the fuck up. Yeah, well, he hadn't blown up yet. Oh, yeah, I didn't blow up no, yet. I think you were like, yeah, look, I got... Every day I was I like, I'm like, on my motherfucking way, though. I got like 50,000 subscribers. I think that's what you were at when I first fucking talked to you in 2015. All right. Uh, it was not 15, it was 16. And uh, when... I, I just, ever since then, shit, my, when I'm sitting over here, my phone's going... Bruh, 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 Live stream? Every piece of tape, we ripped the bag. Oh, Joe, come on, man. That's a rookie move. I got it, though. I got tape. We, you gotta you gotta have a backup plan for a backup plan. What kind of tape did we use when we were in prison? Any kind of tape we could get. Sophie, Joe, my mom has a huge crust on you. And can I get a shout out? To, can you give a shout out to Ann? Shout out to Ann. Thank you for rocking with After Prison Show. Joe's single, too. Hey, Ann. Hey, Ann. How many uh, soups oh, did we put on, in there? That bag's got a hole in it, Dave. I tried to no tell way. you. Big enough to where noodles are falling out on the floor, Dave. I didn't see noodles falling. Oh. Uh, now I see a hole, though. See how big that hole is? <laughs> ben! Shout out to Ben. Man, respect for you, Joe. Keep doing what you're doing. He ain't got no choice. All right, Dave, you get everything crushed up. I'm gonna are make, we gonna, I'm gonna look, get the water heated you know up. What I'm gonna ben, do? shout out to you, brother. I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a sauce. We need a sauce. I'm gonna do, uh... <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna heat up some water. We're putting everything in this bag right now. We're about to make a monster freaking spread right now. We got, we got some Dijon mustard. You know what I'm thinking? Man United is best. Shout out to Man United. Do any of you watch football, soccer? I don't need it. Uh, and if so, what's your favorite team? Right now, my favorite team is Southampton because my player created on FIFA 17, he's playing for Southampton, so I'm rocking with Southampton. Where's Joe's Mountain Dew at? I don't know, but Dave's left foot is starting to feel this. Uh, one, one, Dave was raped one time, and uh, Where's my Mountain Dew right the there? other day. I didn't know how to Has Dave it. ever been raped? Once or twice. Just look at him and let me know what you think. <laughs> You know, I always throw the wrong vibe out there for some reason. Happens to the, happens to the best of us. <laughs> oh, get it. I was just playing, Joe. Were you? <laughs> or was I? Oh, my God. Nice. All right, so we're crushing everything up right now. Well, Joe has plenty of commissary items <laughs> in, his, in his kitchen. We are falling out of control right now. When Joe goes grocery shopping, it's just like going to commissary while locked up. I'm only getting prison items. All right. I'm going to make like a mixture of this right here. That shit looks horrible. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all stuff we would put on the top of the spread anyway. It is. except Pizza sauce, cheese, ranch, and... The sriracha sauce. We're sriracha. not. Gonna, we're not gonna have that. You want. You want to. You want to leave the sriracha out. You yeah. Want to it tomorrow? Huh? What's wrong? We're looking for more commissary items. We need chips. <laughs> <laughs> Found a bag. <laughs> this is. This is how I do shit around here. Okay. <laughs> this is why my house is a mess, I guess. Dave's a liar. He broke his leg burglary a house. Hey, look. And I sued him, and I got paid for that. What movie is that from? I don't know what movie that is. Well, I'm going to see if anybody else knows. Oh, my God. 
You put crackers in there? Yeah, a whole sleeve. Whole sleeve, three soups, three bags of this now. We may need more than that. I got a Linus, what's going on? What's the tattoo on your forearm? Forearms, love from Norway. Do you got tattoos on your forearms? Yeah. They're probably talking about you, Dave. My forearm is just healing. This is what Connor did, but it's it's, it's peeling right now. I hope I don't get any tattoo. I hope I don't get any tattoo scabs in this prison meal. Nick, don't let Dave go home for a while. Want we want him as and you to rock as a double act, APS for life. Dave is always over at my house for days at a time. Yeah. We ain't got to worry about Dave going anywhere. <laughs> I didn't bring a bag this time. Well, you didn't change your clothes the last time you were here for three days. Anyway. <laughs> so it didn't matter that you didn't have a bag. Oh, my God. Got to heat up the water some more. Tuck, tuck. Hey, how's it going? Joe just wanted to say hi from Arizona. Awesome stream. Thank you very much. Tuck Tuck means a lot. So me and Dave were in the kitchen whipping up some old prison spread stuff here. You know, when you're making your prison meal, Jesus Christ, look at my kitchen floor. Look at my floor. Are you done? Hey, look, even in prison, what do you do after you're done? You clean up. You gotta sweep up. It's a must. But when you're making your meal while locked up, there's a big... <laughs> A lot of times you're not going to know what you're going to make. You're just going to bring everything together and you're going to make the best meal that you can with what you have. That's what me and David debate. That's what me and Dave debated on. And now we're making the best meal that we can come up with right now. Hey, Shadow's a shout out to you. This is my ID card. Are you about to cut this shit up with your ID? Yeah, I'm about to cut the, I'm about to cut the meat with my ID card. <coughs> <laughs> While you're cutting the meat up, Joe's going to start prepping the base. Oh my god, this is way too funny right now. We are definitely back in the lab. Kleptic. How much do you make per stream? Do you use do you do this for the money? Serious question. Love the content, bro. Let me be honest with you. We make sometimes we do good, sometimes we don't do so good. But right now, ad revenue is fucked up on YouTube. We're not making shit. So this is how After Prison Show is surviving right now. I hope that answers your question. That's the truth. Uh, Pat Mac, uh, do people sell homemade food in jail? Like would people be selling homemade nachos? Some people do make their hustle preparing meals for other prisoners. I the, did that before. The thing about that is it gets expensive though. A guy might be like, hey, I'll make you a pizza. But a pizza might cost you like 8 or $10. Guys yeah. really don't have 8 or $10 to just go buy a freaking pizza with. See, my hustle was I would cook to eat. Right. I didn't have to order commissary because I would cook pizzas and I would eat. Alright. So I'm about to get this ready right now. This is going to be hot. Just do a little bit at a time. And I hope this ain't leaking. Alright, let's start getting this right. Hopefully this bag holds it together for us. Uh, Evan McDonald. Hey Joe, what TV channels do you get in prison if you had any... Um, different prisons have different cable. Some prisons have a lot of channels. Some I've, prisons have no channels. Yeah, I've been at prisons that have like 70-something channels on cable. That's pretty badass. But I've been at prisons also, the majority of them only have like 10 or 12 channels. Pat, my dog has a crush on you, Joe. Shout out to your dog, man. I need more water. <clears throat> All right, we're starting to get this together. Joe's whipping the base up. Dave's oh, cutting. There's a hole. It just like poured out. Did it? It'll be all right because this thing's gonna swell up anyways. Yeah. All right. Still a little dry right there. Oh, that's hot. How hot? Fucking hot. Like the other night. Hot. <laughs> like fucking with no AC hot? Yeah, fucking with no AC hot. That's how hot this is. So we're starting to get our base together right now. Oh my god, there's a huge hole in the back of this. What the fuck, Joe? 
Dave, why didn't you tell me there was a hole in it? But like, kind of like when I said, hey, Joe, there's a big hole in it. How in the hell does this bag have so many damn holes in it? I've never seen a chip bag with so many fucking holes in it. Thank God for tape. We're going to fix this real quick. So what's everybody doing? You guys rocking with us today? What day is today? Is today Friday? Saturday. For, uh, oh, Saturday. I forgot. Yesterday was Cinco de Mayo. What did everybody do for Cinco de Mayo? Did you do anything? I watched Ancient Aliens last night. That's what the fuck I did. Oh, my God. Ancient Aliens. I'm a big believer in aliens. The world. You guys believe in aliens? You think they're real? I believe that some people look like the way we have made aliens. I've met people in prison that look like they're really extraterrestrials. There was a man on our uh, mugshot video that looked like uh, an alien. You gotta watch the Action Bronson one. He sits down and watches it with all things graphic. Oh, yeah? Oh. All right, so the base is coming together. We've definitely done some damage control, getting the bag, fixing the holes. We're going to want to put more water on that. Why? Because by the time it's done, it's going to be like... I don't want it to be soup, man. Yeah, we don't want... I got this. <laughs> I got this, Dave. Shadoza, my dog has a crush on Pat's dog. That's crazy. We're having love connections with animals on After Prison Show. All right. You want to do, for on the top end, you want barbecue or sour cream? Um, I got to think about that. That's a crazy one. Uh, Austin, hey, Joe. My, hey, Joe, shout out my girlfriend, Amy. She's leaving me. Shout out to Amy for leaving uh, Austin. That's crazy. Is that a good thing? Yeah, I hope she's leaving you for the right reasons. All right, what are you saying there? Let's do cheese. Let's do ranch. Let's not do the pizza sauce. Cheese and ranch? Yeah. Let's make this thing super awesome. So All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start spreading this out, and we're going to let this cook. So keep flattening that, Dave. Uh, Vanessa, shout out to you. Hey, guys, love the channel and the content. Shout out from North Carolina. My man finishing up a 15-year bid. So it's interesting to hear your stories. Keep up the great work. Much love. Shout out to your man finishing up a 15-year sentence. And shout out to you for rocking with him, too. I wish him all the best when he comes home. Look at Dave right now. Dave's flattening out our spread using a soda can. It's almost like a, a pizza roller in prison. <clears throat> Yo, that vape has got my throat just like destroyed. Huh? Oh man, that, that vape shit's horrible. <laughs> oh shit. Alright, so this cheese is dead. Actually, it's not. There's still cheese in here. We're gonna be using this cheese right here. I wish we had some pickles. We don't, though. Your boy Tim, are you guys following the NBA playoffs? What teams do you want to win it all? Go Knicks! <laughs> you know. Golden State's looking pretty good. I like Golden State. I've always liked Golden State. All right, what kind of what kind of stuff do I have in here? I might have some onions, Dave. We can put some onions on this thing. Oh yeah, huh? I'll chop. I can't use. I'm not onions. sure if they're if they're still good or not. That's how you find out. Give me an onion. How long do onions stay good for? For real, forever. That looks like it's a good onion. All right. So you know, at least we got some onions. I wish we had some green pepper. We got plenty of cheese. You want to grab me a knife? I can't yeah. use the... Uh, Get you a knife. Over there. In Joe's kitchen. Hey, Joe, it's over there. Huh. You know where the utensils are better than I do. I don't ever come in here. I usually eat out all the time. Um, what else are we looking for here, though? We need to heat up these... Con I mean, we need to heat these meats up, Dave. Yeah, we do. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and cook the meats. Showing what I did. Yeah, Dave chopped up all the meat with his prison ID. <laughs> I'm gonna nuke the meat. We're gonna cook that for about two minutes. What else we got in here? What else can we throw on top of this spread? How about some syrup? Some like syrup from pancakes? Oh. Um, I'm not. Dave, you should cut that up on something before you cut yourself. Here, here's a plate. We don't want Dave cutting his finger off on the stream. 
Alright, what else we got? What do we got in Joe's refrigerator? Let me get in here real quick, Dave. We got nothing down there. Holy shit, the last prison meal we cooked on the last stream is still in my refrigerator. My god, that's like two weeks old. What is? The last prison meal. Where is it at? Way back there in the back. <laughs> Way back in the back. Oh my goodness. How about some syrup sandwiches? <laughs> Shout out to that. Shout out to the syrup sandwiches. All right, let's see what our freaking meal is looking like. It's got to be almost done. Oh, yeah. It's looking good. What are we going to eat this with? Are we going to eat with crackers? I mean, that's why I got that other sleeve of crackers right there. We got this half a sleeve right here as well. Oh, yeah. That was from me making a, a bowl shot the other night. <clears throat> Now, Dave, are we going to mix this cheese up with this ranch? I think so, yeah. I think that'll be the best. All right, this meat is smoking. Sizzling. Look at that. That meat is greasy. Nothing like, nothing like processed meat. <laughs> Weeping Willow, shout out to you. Thanks for rocking with us. Hey, Joe. Mix it all up in there. No, we're not. Why? Holy shit. Damn, that's mold. That's what that is. Well, that cheese ain't no good. Is there mold in that one? No. I didn't know cheese got moldy like that. Cheese is mold. Is it mold? Yes, it is. Son of a bitch. Can we use Cody's lid? For what? You want to mix the cheese up in that? Yeah, I'll mix the cheese and the onions and the ranch. How about I give you a bowl? How about I give you a real bowl, Dave? We're not in prison anymore, okay? All right, all right, all right, all right. Even though we're making a prison meal, we're not in prison anymore, for the love of God. Here you go. Here's a bowl. Here's a spoon. Dave's mixing up our little cheese, our special cheese sauce right here. Bruv number two, what's the best prison-provided meal you guys ever had? Ramadan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, they have special occasions, special holiday meals, uh... Christmas, uh, Thanksgiving, at certain institutions, not everywhere, but usually those holiday meals are the best. You get chicken, you get turkey, you get all sorts of pies and stuff, but it's not everywhere. It's only in certain places. Brosive, shout out to you. I love that little meme right there. Uh, not that meme, that little gif. Let's go to prison. All right, Dave, what are you doing? You're adding a whole seasoning pack? My yeah. God. Do we... A little bit, because we're going to sprinkle some of that on top of that. There's plenty of seed. There's two seasoning packs in here already, Dave. Oh, well, then we don't need that one anymore. Jesus Christ, man. Cholesterol doesn't come into the into play at all for you? Oh, yeah. People die from high cholesterol in prison. Here, you want to bring the onion over here? You're going to put the onion in the cheese sauce. Yeah. All right. So we're going to be putting the onion in the cheese sauce. All right. Let's go ahead and add that onion in there right like so. It's a lot of onion, Dave. It's a big ass pie we're making here, man. We're hooking it up, though. This is gonna be Joe's dinner tonight. Joe didn't have anything for dinner last night except for freaking chips and dip, Starburst, and cookies and pickles. And you <clears throat> ate all the pickles. Yeah, I, I did eat all the pickles. If I if I didn't eat all the pickles, we would have those for this meal. You got um, what is this? What are you doing in my fridge? Why do you know more about my fruit? Those are olives, Dave. I don't like olives. I don't think I would like these olives. What the hell are they? They look radioactive. Well, these are going in the trash. I don't know why they're in my refrigerator. We, pull, we open your fridge and he goes, I don't like olives. Huh. What? I pulled those out of your fridge. I didn't put them Hey, there. I don't know. So you think this thing's ready? I think so. One thing about this, these meals cook really fast as far as like preparing the, the, the base for these spreads. You know what really used to drive me crazy though when I would make spreads with people? What was that? When, when the guy would open the bag and he'd like lean down and breathe all over and it. bite it. Oh yeah, you don't want to be biting the bag trying to bust the bag open. You're like, for real dude? 
Joe did a wonderful job on this base. Just enough water. You know, we could have put a sugar on it. A sugar will set this off. You need to go ahead and put that in the, in the, in the cheese. Yeah, put a sugar in the cheese. That is the special ingredient. Last Dog Diva, my husband, is a sergeant at a Max Men's Prison. I figure while he's at work, I'd send some of send you some of his money, LOL. Seriously, <laughs> we love your channel, Joe. You know, it wouldn't be the first time. But shout out to you, Last Dog Diva. Oh, You're that is, awesome. That is awesome. So look, we're putting a sweet and low in this cheese. I'm telling you, this is a very secret ingredient right here that's going to set this whole thing off. One sweet and low. A whole sweet and low at that. Yeah, a whole sweet and low. So we've got our cheese mixed up right here. This is cheese, ranch, onions, sweet and low. Mr. Y, can you get soda from commissary in prison? What other kind of beverages can be purchased? You definitely can get sodas. You can get uh, uh, Kool-Aid pouches. You can get to the moon drink. To the moon drink? Yeah. What the hell is that? Tang. Oh, Tang. Yeah, you can get Tang. You can buy tea, tea bags. <laughs> I didn't even want to say it, but you can buy tea bags. So, Dave, you're actually measuring each slice based on the size of a cracker. Well, I started that way. So you're going to cut it up before we actually put the toppings on it. Yeah. It's going to make it easier to just get it, right? Absolutely. Well, if you learn something new every day, Joe would just go ahead and put all the toppings on it, and we would just we would just chow down on it. Cody, are you going to eat some of this? Maybe. Cody says, hell no, Cody's not eating none of this. I got to eat that tonight, so probably not. Oh, Cody said he's probably not going to eat it. He said he got a what? He's got a, Cody's got an event tonight. Cody's going on a date. Everybody's going on a date but Joe around here. What the fuck is going on? I don't get it. What's wrong with Joe? Going on a date with my Osmo. Nope, not today. <laughs> he said no, no, no. Okay, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a video tomorrow. My, my voice is going to be gone. I can feel this already. It's that vape. Somebody send me a better vape because this vape is fucking killing me. Dang, right. hurry up and cut this shit up, man. I'm Look, hungry. Put a bunch of that cheese in there and stick that in the microwave. I'm not even sure this cheese is good. Well, it is. This cheese doesn't look very promising. Why don't we just why don't we just put this on top of it? Because it ain't gonna melt. We don't need it to melt. Fuck it, we don't need it to melt. August 19, 2017. We'll use this cheese. We'll have some sharp cheddar on this. Oh yeah. No. Wait, is that is that how cheese is supposed to smell? Bring it. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. I'm gonna eat it, Cody. see. I think I'm seeing spots. Where's the meat? How many eat the meat? How many eat the meat? How many eat the meat? Oh, that's horrible. That's not good cheese. Is it not good? No, something's wrong with that cheese. That shit's off like a motherfucker. Chungus Chaplin, much love for APS. Shout out to you. Thank you very much. Oh. August 19th or 17th. That's still good, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to use this cheese. You don't want the cheese? No, throw that shit away. That, shit, that shit's got me feeling like I'm, I'm hallucinating. Hey, Joe, what do you think? So, Dave, you're putting the grease up there first. Yeah, just get that. You gotta make sure that you got meat all over the... You can't waste no meat, man. You gotta spread it out. That's not enough meat, Dave. You better cut up some more fucking meat. <laughs> cut up some more meat, Dave. We need more meat. Here, here's a bunch of more meat. Stack, stack it up. Stack it up. Rack City here. We're gonna put all these on there. We don't need to be stingy, Dave. We're not in prison anymore. See, Dave's still thinking in his, his penitentiary ways. He's trying to be stingy with the food. I'm thinking, shit, we got to wait a whole nother week before we can go back to commissary. We may have to wait another week before we can go back to the grocery store. That's just because Cody don't want to. Hey, one Savage, what's your thoughts on perhaps bringing out merchandise with Love and Rock, APS hoodie, t-shirt, beanie? Love these live streams, man. Shout out to Cody behind them. Cam, Dave, yourself, killing it uh, as per bro. Shout out to you. We definitely got merchandise on the way. I, I was trying to get it today. It will be up tomorrow, though. Yeah, I want a fucking hoodie. 
I got you, man. I'll get you a hoodie. And a beanie. Bitch, you're getting expensive now. <laughs> oh, shit. Something ain't right with this cheese. Maybe it was that first cheese I ate. I don't, I don't now know. Now you just got, like, bad cheese bread? I got bad cheese mouth. Is that even a thing? Yup. Dirty mouth. Try orbits. I thought it was dentine. No, it's orbit. Is it orbits? Or five gum. Or five gum? So let me know right now in the comment section, would you eat this meal? This meal that me and Dave are preparing right now, give me a one in the comments if you would try it. Give me a two if you're like, good Lord, this looks disgusting. You mix cheese, ranch, and sweet and low. What are you guys doing over there? You gotta, you gotta wait until it's done. It'll look way more prettier than it does. Are we gonna crush up some chips and throw these on top? You wanna do one of each or? Yeah, I think we should do one of each. Here, you want to stick that in the microwave? I'm going to wash my hands. The microwave is literally right behind you. Yeah, but I can't touch the microwave. My hands are... You definitely can't touch the microwave. Alright, so we're cooking up some more meat. We're going to crush up some chips. We're going to throw this on top as a little seasoning blaster. Give it a little texture. And this thing's gonna be bomb. I, I gotta let you know. Cody, did we get a, did we get any ones or twos in the comments? Uh, a lot of ones. A lot of ones. Shout out to y'all if y'all rock with this meal. Rob number one, favorite fast food restaurant. Joe, <laughs> I tell you what, and Dave's. I tell you what my least favorite one is right now is McDonald's. Used to be my favorite, now it's my least. Taco Bell, number one. By far Taco Bell. Just Taco ate there. Bell. Just ate there yesterday. Love the Chalupa Supremes. What cheese are we using, Joe? I don't know how old you any of those cheeses. Yeah, put that in there. Put a, put a handful of cheese in there. Man. Why? I'm going to heat it up. All right. Go ahead. I'm about to stick it in the microwave now. All right. Well, put a handful in there and stir it up. So it can't be, it can't be cheesy enough. No, definitely. That is a, a rule, actually, in prison food. All right. In the microwave with the cheese. <laughs> Do we got enough meat now? I'm thinking so. What's up with all this pepperoni right here, Dave? Oh, it's not cold. It's not cold, Dave. It's not cold. Oh, yeah. This thing's going to be bomb as hell. Oh, shit, Joe. Can't throw Joe, you're, you're getting cold. meat and cheese on your floor. All right, so we're heating up the cheese. We got onion in here. We got all sorts of stuff. We got sausage, pepperoni. This uh, soap is right there. All right. How long did you put the cheese in there for? I think the cheese is boiling. <laughs> Holy shit, they thought. Alright, now you know the trick is you gotta pour that shit before it gets. So we're whipping the cheese on in now. Oh my god. Cody, look at this. Come look at how gooey, delicious this looks. Do you know. I'm, t I'm thinking it's a little, a little what? A little bit of the pasta sauce. I don't want any pasta sauce on this thing, man. You don't, you don't dig? I used to put a pack of pasta sauce on almost every one of my spreads. You know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe just a little shot of pasta sauce. Oh. Cheese has been added. Navaganago, LOL, tweet this meal. To Gordon Ramsay. To Gordon Ramsay? Gordon Ramsay is a... What do you think Gordon Ramsay would think about this? Norwegian Nightmare, what shout out to you. Fuck? Hey, Joe, shout out from Norway. Been with you since the summer of 2016, man. Love the channel. Keep up the good work. Shout out to you. Thank you for rocking with us. 
Hey, Cody, come take a picture of this. Let's tweet it to Gordon Ramsay. You want to? Yeah, absolutely. We're tweeting it to Gordon Ramsay. Let me see the spoon, Joe. So let me know when you're done. Say fuck you, Let's Gordon Ramsay. We got to put the chips on top. We ain't done yet. Microwave. Every time I hear your microwave ding, I keep thinking it's mine for some reason. Hey, shout out to you if you got the same ding on your microwave as after prison show. What I want to know is why would you think it was yours if you haven't put nothing in it? Dave, that thing looks horrible now. You mixed it all up. It looks like a gooey disaster. Oh. Gordon Ramsay's not going to like this meal now, Dave. We got to put the, uh, right, we got to put the, 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 the last topping on it. The chips. Yes. So now what we've got is we've got some crushed up little small bags of chips. Got a barbecue flavor right here. I got a sour cream and onion right here. And we've crushed these up, and we're just going to spread these over top of this meal. It's almost like croutons on top of the meal. Did you already crush this thing? Yep. We are definitely missing pickles on this meal. Yo, that is what it's missing, is pickles. We're going to tweet this to Gordon Ramsay and it's going to go viral. Everybody gotta, everybody's got to find After Prison Show on Twitter at Joe P. Guerrero and make sure you retweet the fuck out of this tweet. He, uh, he does stuff with prisoners, though. Does he do stuff with prisoners? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. maybe he'll like this. They make food for him and he sells them to big restaurants. Look at this meal. I mean, this thing is, this is where it's at. Can we get like a we gotta, up? We got to clean it up a little bit, though. So we're going to get a picture of it right now. Cody's going to tweet it. And then we're going to eat it. We're going to tweet it, then we're going to eat it. Dave, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm putting everything away. Prison meal, how is that? And another reason why your cheese went bad is because after you open it, you have to refrigerate it. I didn't know that, Dave. I didn't know you were supposed to refrigerate cheese. Hey, give me a mountain dew. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> We got the code red Mountain Dew. Oh, you want to take a picture we got to take a picture in front of the meal. Let me get close to the too. Oh shit! I got cheese sauce on my Nope Not Today shirt. Inky Jeffy. Hell yeah. Tweet that at Gordon Ramsay right now. We about to indulge. Joe, your throat is probably hurting because your vape juice is high on something. Try finding a juice with 80% vegetable glycerin, 20% the other thing. Shout out to you. My throat is killing me. All right, Dave, you ready to dive into this thing? Are you ready to dive head first into this prison meal? Hey, yo, why you got so much meat on your side? Why I don't got no meat over here? Huh? That's what she said. <laughs> What's it taste like? Holy shit. Smoking. I ain't mad at it. At all. Well. <laughs> that shit's so good, I'm ready to go back to prison. <laughs> yeah. Dang. Yo, I swear to God, when you'd make something like this in prison or jail, and you'd have other... If me and Joe were eating this, it'd be like... A hundred people coming over here. Or people will come over. This is the one that used to kill me. Motherfuckers come over and they'd be like, yo. We get cracker. No, they'd be like, yo, what is that? I'd be like, oh, we put some uh, sour cream chips on the top. They'd be like, oh my God, I've never tried that. You got to let me get a cracker. You got to let me get a cracker. How many people will come over and actually ask you that while you're cooking? Or, or while you're eating, better yet? Everybody. Let me get a cracker, yo. Everybody hungry faces and <laughs> So what do you guys think? Look, um, damn. That's pretty good. We got to show close-up of the meal. We were so hungry, we dove right into this meal without even showing the close-up. I'm not even sure how we can get the meal over there. Dave's got a plan. That thing's going everywhere, Dave. It ain't going nowhere. It looks like it's going everywhere, Dave. All right, you hold that side. I got this side. Do not drop this meal. Dave's got a peg leg. <laughs> My God, this is a disaster waiting to happen. <laughs> so what do you guys think of this little little concoction we put together right here? Can you see that real well? Would you eat this? 
It's, Gotta let you know right now, this will be the best thing you ever eat in prison. <laughs> All right, the board is collapsing. I feel it. The board is collapsing, Dave. Don't you drop this. All right, we're good. We're good. Oh, my God. Come on, Cody. Come get you a cracker. That's what you tell you. That's how, that's how you know you're a homeboy. When you be like, hey, Cody, come get a cracker, bro. If you don't hear that and you just walk over and ask for a cracker, chances are we don't want to there. We don't really fuck with you if we don't invite you to the meal. <laughs> this shit good as hell. Yo, it actually, um... It actually is. That's all right. Damn. So look. We're tweeting this meal to Gordon Ramsay right now. We need all of you out there to help get his attention. Retweet this tweet at Joe P. Guerrero. <clears throat> my throat is so fucked up, I literally legitimately feel like there's a cracker stuck in my fucking throat. Huh? What should we say to him? Prison cooking on after prison show. Are you jealous? <laughs> <laughs> Are you jealous? <laughs> Mm. My prison cooking makes your freaking gourmet shit look like dog shit. Holy shit. Let's not try to talk shit to him because you already know how that's going to go. <sighs> how will that go? This is Gordon Ramsay. He may come here. <laughs> we need Gordon Ramsay on after prison show. Do we not need Gordon Ramsay on after prison show? Show up with cameras and just talk shit. <laughs> This is good as hell. It definitely turned out really good. Yeah. Like, you know when you do something and you cook it. <laughs> We're fucking this thing up. And I was hungry as a bitch. Because the hot dog place we went to. Was horrible. My my uh, my uh happy meal would have been bigger. Huh. Okay. Let's tweet it. We tweeted it. We need you all to retweet it. I'm going to post it in the Yo mama, hey, you should seriously pitch an after prison show meets Hell's Kitchen show to Gordon Ramsay and call it Hell's Prison Kitchen. <clears throat> Maybe he'd even let you judge. Don't judge me. We're thinking big over here, and thank you for that suggestion. That's a really awesome idea, actually. I think so. We got a lot of ideas in relation to prison shows that could be on TV. I mean, with hell, with half of the stuff that you see on TV right now anyways, a lot of it's garbage as it is. We can make a way better show with After Prison Show. Anything prison related, it would be awesome. Yo, I'm over here fucking this shit. Up. Everybody's retweeting the tweet. Joe's phone, Joe's Twitter is blowing up right now. It's already almost 50. Huh? It's already almost 60 retweets now. Retweet this thing. Gordon Ramsay's going to be like, what the, what the hell is After Prison Show? <laughs> Vampire Empress. How'd you meet Cody? Also, what do you think about su of supporters coming to visit you? <coughs> so I met Cody through Instagram because, uh, well, Cody's got a huge following on Instagram. He lives close to me. We talked for a long time on Instagram before we actually decided to meet up. And that's basically how we met. But as far as supporters coming to meet, we were talking about this before the stream started, doing uh, spend the day with after prison show type of a thing. I don't know how we would go about doing that. But that's something that we're definitely trying to do. What do you guys think about that? Would you guys want to come spend a day with After Prison Show? We could eat some prison food. We could talk about some prison shit, do some prison tattoos. Could be a cool thing. It could be. Win a day with APS. Dave, you got prison shit all over your fucking mouth here. Oh, you don't wipe that off till you're done. <laughs> that didn't sound right at all, Dave. Things you do not say in prison. You don't wipe that off until you're done. <coughs> Joe, your throat. I know. Where the fuck is the paper towel at? We ain't got no fucking paper towels, man. This is prison. Go get some toilet paper. Tony, shout out to you. Thanks for rocking with us today. We've been all over the place. We had Connor over here earlier. It was Joe, Dave, and Connor. We were talking prison topics. Con uh, Connor had to leave. He had to go to work. We switched gears. We decided... 
We were going to come into the kitchen, Joe versus Dave on some cooking type stuff, I guess. Joe versus Dave, prison cooking, basically. We just cooked the prison meal. We tweeted it to Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay's <laughs> probably looking at his Twitter like, who the fuck is after prison show? <laughs> if this tweet goes viral, this is going to piss me off because I'll be like, oh man, this is the one. It might though. I told him prison cooking after prison show. Are you jealous? We can show you a few tips. <laughs> <laughs> Cody, I thought you said we weren't going to talk shit to him. That's not your own tips. It's okay. We're showing tips, you know? He knows how to cook gourmet food. Mm. He would eat this and be like, Joe, why you got socks in your kitchen? <coughs> I don't know. Why are you drying your hand off with a sock? I've done worse with a sock. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, I swear to God. And another thing about swole, motherfuckers will make a swole and they'll be full as a motherfucker, but they will still eat that bitch because they don't want to give it away to certain people. They don't want to give it away at all. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. When I, I used to eat, when we made a spread like this, what we would do is, when you know, to get down to like the last bit, you know, the guy in the pod that really don't say shit to nobody, don't really do nothing, he don't get no money from the outside, he just, you, you him. walk up to him and you're really like, yo, bro, you hungry? You know, he's always the one that's like, oh my God, thank you so much. You give it to somebody who will appreciate it and not just... You know, and and he's never the one hawking over top of you while you're trying to eat. Either. BBC, sorry for giving you that that stretch throat. That's what it was. A what? A, a stretch throat. <clears throat> Joe is legit gonna have no voice tomorrow. <clears throat> it's been coming for a couple days now, though. Yo, the onions is where it's at too. It's just good as fuck. Hundred retweets. You gonna come try this thing, man? Come on, Cody. You need to pin that tweet, too. Yeah, well, you got, look, you got to take a cracker, right? Mm -hmm. And you got to get a piece that'll fill the whole fucking cracker. There you go. Bam. That's good, Cody. What do you think? Don't spit it out. Huh? Don't spit that shit out, Cody. That's good. It's good, right? Hell yeah. Cody ate it. He said it was good. It tastes like a pizza. Say so it tastes like pizza. And that's why we make them. It tastes like pizza and high cholesterol. That's what it tastes like. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Blood pressure is going on. Callum, does it bring back memories cooking prison food, eating with prison buddies? Damn sure it does. <laughs> Damn sure it does. I just said as soon as I took my first bite of this thing, I'm ready to go back to prison right now. You know? It's so good, I'll go back now. I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding when I say that. <clears throat> This is absolutely incredible. This is really good. You know, there's so much other stuff it's that we can do, too. It's crazy that we just made this. We had, what we use? Three ramen noodles, a sleeve of crackers, three little bags of cheese puffs. I'm quite sure you put some goldfish in here. Oh, yeah. Parmesan-flavored goldfish. You're not getting those in prison. <laughs> You're not? Well, all right. So goldfish are pretty much like a cheese it Yeah, they are. Like a cheese cracker. And you'll get cheese in some Yeah, and you get cheese it and. For real, that is actually when you're making a base, the Cheez Its was the best thing to excuse me. Was the best thing to use because it it not only was cheesy flavor, you know, had that cheesy to it, but it was it, it was thicker. It caused it to have like, you know, more the base to be way more sturdy. Did you ever put sandwich bread in your base? I seen people do it. I just I've thought, done it. I just thought it was like if you didn't have last else, resort. Yeah, and I mean I've definitely done it. Yeah. If you didn't have like the crackers or something like that, yeah, definitely use the it. The sandwich bread adds to it. Yeah, it fucking makes it. Well, oh no, you know what? Now I lie. You know when we would use sandwich bread? When it'd be like Super Bowl or something, and we're about to make like 50 fucking spreads. You know, you got everybody in the pod wants to eat some. You use the bread because you can fucking stretch it out for Yeah, them. everybody can get some. That shit is so salty. Don't ever say that in prison either. <laughs> Why are you so salty for? <laughs> Why 
Why is that so salty? Hey, look, you know how you know when somebody really has never ate a soul before? You'll have, you'll give them a cracker. Instead of sticking the whole fucking thing in their mouth, oh, they'll try to take a they bite. They try to take a bite of it. Yeah, you gotta eat the whole cracker at once. Yeah, you you scoop. Fuck it, don't put, open the next sleeve up. You scoop and you shovel. That's it. <laughs> it's just. One. We may start. We may start marketing prison spreads here. Uh, you know, and maybe it may be some merchandise that you're able to get. I don't know how we would do it yet, but it's, it's something that we could do. We may need FDA approving. We may just go ahead and backdoor that. See, back in the day, when I first started eating swoles, like when I was 18, when I was in the jail, what we used to do is we'd make swole kits, right? You get on canteen day, you crush up a whole bag of Doritos, a whole bag of cheese crunch, a whole bag of corn chips, and then you mix your soups, and you'd have like three potato chip bags full. Ooh, yeah. yeah. And then all you have to do is dump it in your bowl, Heat it up, boom. You're ready to go. <laughs> exactly. You're that ready. was really back in the day. Yeah, shit. that's the that was the the pre uh, flavor. <laughs> Nobody really. People were just eating it to get by, and they really hadn't started making all types of shit. Man, I remember when I first went to prison. These guys were like, this guy I knew was like, "Yo, you hungry? You want to rap?" I was like, "Hungry and rap." I don't freestyle, bro. Huh. <laughs> no, but, man, they make these things, right? And then they stick them in potato chip bags. They take the, they wrap like this shit we just made, but they wrap it inside a tortilla. They stick the whole, like, prison burrito in a, in a chip bag that's like aluminum foil. Then wrap it in newspaper, stick it in the microwave for like five minutes. And then it comes out all crispy and fucking good oh, yeah. and hot. Yeah, you can make some mean uh, burritos, basically, the wraps. You can make some mean wraps in prison. All right, look. Cody, how long have we been streaming for? Uh, two hours and 50 minutes. Two hours and 50 minutes? Yep. I don't know. I think we're going to wrap this up. We want to get an early stream in. I don't know what we'll do later. Maybe we come back later. I doubt it, though, but... Again, I want to say thank you to everybody who rocked with us. Thank you for everybody who retweeted the prison meal to Gordon Ramsay. Hopefully he sees that. We're going to challenge Gordon Ramsay to a prison cook-off. <laughs> and uh, look, hope you enjoyed this stream. Thank you again for joining us on this early Saturday stream. Also check out the paintings on eBay. We are auctioning off the paintings. We will have merchandise up tomorrow. That will be for certain. And as always, until next time, oh, enjoy I, life. I swear I got indigestion now. Enjoy life, the free world. Never take a moment for granted.